Welcome back to another episode of Rock Dog. There she is. The shrooms, I'm fucking, I don't know the time anymore. Where are the rest of those shrooms? No, stop it. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you gotta take mushrooms? No. Oh, I got you red handed. No, I wasn't. I was holding I got you mushroom handed. No, I was trying to make sure you don't take them. Oh, before, so like, okay, go ahead and make sure I don't take some. I just been making sure. All right. You know there's more? I know. Go ahead. What do you want me to what do? What are you doing with that in your hand? I'm just holding it so you don't take it. I nice. think the only way to make sure he doesn't is if you get rid of the evidence. You gotta take it. I think How you gotta do that. Oh, no, don't eat the whole thing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, that's what an edible is? Yeah. Okay. This, Excuse me, what are you doing? Yeah. How much is too much? Too much? That's too much. Way, Way too, much. too much. So, like, eat a quarter, take that. No, don't even eat that. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Like, maybe one of those. Solid. Good. Yeah, that's perfect. Brad, what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Well, that's true. I thought you were cutting. I am. This is that's, my. That's this chocolate. Is, that's chocolate. That's sugar. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I'm ignoring it. Oh, hey, what up? What up? What up? So it's kind of cold in here. Yeah, I wish it wasn't. Go. Hi, Hi. Jess. It's nice to meet you. Jess? Jess. Oh, Jess. Mia, yeah. nice to meet you. Bradley. Bradley, nice Very to meet you. Actually, you were crying? Oh, yeah. The what happened? Were, they were fucking me up. And then, <laughs> and then I got that text, and I was like, what is she texting me about? No, no, no. I was, oh. It was just a, you know, a little banter on the text message. Oh, oh, oh I thought you were actually crying. Really? Yeah, of course. Well, I, have, I mean, I have like a little, you know, some... Well, people get emotional on. He cries a lot. Yeah. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, like mean, a... We've we've seen you cry um, more more than most you know most no, podcasts. Okay, it's fair. It's okay. You're in touch with your emotions. Yeah. Thank you. Well, yes, this is raw talk. So the odds of you actually crying earlier are pretty. High. It, it's likely. I could have been crying. Do you want to wear some for the podcast? Maybe wear some lipstick. Some mint, some lipstick. Let's do it and see if anyone notices. Give I don't think shot. it's a good idea. I don't think I want to do it. It's Why? a very pretty color. Uh, he wants. See. To I think you should do it. I'm definitely not gonna do it. Dude. And just don't it mention it. <laughs> just have it on. Just like start it like it's normal. <laughs> Of your cup a little bit, so when you lift up your cup, there's a little lip Well, marks. as you're <laughs> drinking, it will like, like leave little marks for sure. I'm not See, this do thing this. is I'm all not. dirty. <laughs> More oh, ass. Cubbies, I, felt that. Uh, I love it. Oh, that's the cup. this is like so relevant. <laughs> I love that that's the cup that you I don't know. What it's really want. like, I didn't plan that shit. Just, all right, so welcome back to Raw Talk. We have a very special guest, Mia Malkova. Um, Yay. I'm so excited. And like I said, I think Jess is really excited because she. She's not having to wear the headphones on this one. And think, also because we have a woman in the studio, which is yes. so good. It's the first time. It's is so it? Good. Wait. Other than Noelle, but Noelle's okay. a pretty common person to have here. And okay. then you had um, Charlie, but I wasn't Charlie, here. But, but you weren't here. So, um, let, yeah, let's dive into it. Um, this, this, like, I guess the first question I have and the thing, obviously, when I get a bunch of questions, people like, ask this, ask this. Um, it's a lot of inappropriate shit that yeah. gets thrown at you like right away. That's so fine. Wait, do uh, you just wipe it on your dick? I mean, that's what it says here. I mean, it says to apply a small amount to the head and shaft of the penis before intercourse or use as directed by a doctor, allow five minutes to dry and wash off product immediately after intercourse. So it's gonna make me last longer. It is, it's um, purpose is male genital desensitizer. It's made of benzocaine USP 4%. Let me see that. Can I yeah, try throw it, it on to me. you? Yeah, no. Well, you gonna try it on me? Yeah, why not? You no, can try I'm it on gonna, me. I just want to make sure I have that over here. Anyways, um, you guys can go to getroman.com slash Bradley and get 10% off your first order of swipes plus free two-day shipping. That's again, that's getroman.com slash Bradley. $10 off your first order of swipes plus free shipping. I'm going to try this tonight, but I want, I was kind of trying to figure out like more of your, your story. Like where, where did you start? Like, what was your childhood? Like, cause I've looked at stuff. I was watching like videos and there wasn't, there's not a ton of information on that. Okay. Um, so I grew up in, well, I was born and raised in Southern California and I grew okay. up in the Inland Empire, Hemet yeah. and San Jacinto. And um, I hate the town. Like, <laughs> there's nothing there. The, I, the like, IE. Yeah, yeah, IE. But the town I grew up in was literally just nothing. Um, 
My childhood, I had a really good childhood. Uh, my mom was a really good mother and like always made sure that we did a lot of fun things like beach hikes, um, like theme parks. And I have three brothers and a sister, so we always kind of got up to a lot of fun things. Yeah. So I, I remember my childhood very fondly. Like the whole thing. There's no like, you didn't come from anything, no broken home, nothing like that. I mean, I've had a lot of <laughs> stepdads. <laughs> That's the only thing. So when, when, did your, when did your mom first, like she, when did she first split with the... F um, so I never met my biological father. Okay. And I've had, I have to count, I've had one, <laughs> two, this is so bad. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. One, two, three... Three or four stepdads, I get yeah. Like so, grow like throughout the years. Yeah, so you never met your biological father. Mm -mm. Oh, you like zero. Zero. Yeah. yeah. Um, he doesn't want contact with me. It, it, it's me and my brother who share the same father. He never wanted contact with us. Yeah. So it just wasn't. And I had such an attentive mother that it just wasn't anything I ever cared about. What about now? Have you ever thought to like? No, no, definitely you, not. No. Yeah. He's still alive, I'm assuming. <laughs> I think so. Damn, it's like that. It's like completely <laughs> unknown. Yeah, I don't. Wow. I, I actually don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, no. Do you, yeah. Do you think he like knows who you are right now? Definitely. Okay. I'm surprised he's not trying to get some money from you. I was so. about yeah. to say, like, <laughs> definitely. Um, his, his, uh side of the family I had added some of them like some of my cousins from that side and my uncles and um they all know who I am my cousins one of my cousins hit on me oh good Great. that's good <laughs> <laughs> did um, he know you were his cousin wait yeah. good that's wait good. one of your cousins who <laughs> he's a fan <laughs> <laughs> He's a fan and he hits on you. Well, I, I don't respond to messages. And it's been a few years, but he definitely made it known that he watches my porn. Yeah. Your cousin, though, like a blood. Yeah, I've never met and him. And how did that make you feel? I've because never met him. It was just the Facebook. Yeah, if that was me, I would feel uncomfortable. How would that make you feel? How did that like, make you feel? I was like, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to respond to yeah. you again. <laughs> so, so you don't have any desire to, to meet your father? No, no. no. I'm very much... Um, I'm very much about just having people who are positive in my life and yeah. it just, yeah, just zero desire. And I don't, I, I won't ever have one either. Like if yeah. he did reach out, I wouldn't respond. You wouldn't respond. Yeah. No. So your mother obviously is, is amazing to you, right? Yeah. She's yeah. very loving. Um, very loving. She's not perfect. She's kind of crazy, but she's very loving. It's okay. Crazy is good. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, we're used to that. You yeah. Know? No parent's yeah. perfect. As long as they're loving and they love you with the best of their ability, they're a yeah. great parent. Agreed. So obviously the first, the first thing that comes to mind also when people ask about this stuff and I get all these messages from people giving me feedback, uh, how did you actually get into porn? <laughs> like why? <laughs> like how? How and why? Um, so I had a best friend growing up and I knew her since the second grade. We were always very, very close and she needed money and she ended up like posting herself on a website called sexyjobs.com. What, what did you get on that? What would someone get on that job? Like, I don't know. I like think, that website. I think, I think that the, I think what they're doing is they're just taking offers for sexy types of jobs. So like, I don't know. I, I've never went on the website myself. Um, but Does some, that website still exist? I don't know. Some yeah. sort of manager found her and started booking her. And then she was sleeping over at my house one day and she let me know what she was doing. Booking her for what though? Um, for for scenes in Miami, she, had, she worked for Mofo. She did a few scenes for Mofos. Okay. And she kind of told me what she was doing and what she was up to and how much money she was making. And I was very promiscuous. I've always been impulsive, and I just really thought it sounded like a lot of fun. So I got in contact. With so her we're talking about she was doing porn, mm -hmm. and you were like, "Fuck it, I want to try it." Because yeah. of the money, or just also money. And then I got into it for the right reasons. I like in my head, I was like, "Oh, I get paid to get laid." <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Right? Definitely. Yeah. Sexyjobs.com is still around, by the way, oh. for anyone interested. Um, but I also saw you say that you think that you're, you became so successful and like polarizing in porn because you like genuinely had a desire to do it. You weren't really coming from someone who needed the money. You, yeah. you were there to have a good time and like you enjoyed it. That's what I think early on. Also, I, have, I had a very girl next door look. 
and I had the huge ass. So, so <laughs> and boobs. Like, and like there's boob men, and there's a lot more than you think. Fake. I had natural boobs up until like two years ago, um, and I was also very flexible. Like I could do mild contortion. So I, I think, saw that everywhere. Yeah. Everyone's like, she's so flexible. I was like, I'm huh. still very flexible. I just don't do contortion. But there's, I think that there's a few reasons that I stood out. But as far as like the actual sex scenes, yes, I was very excited to be there. So you, so you like you genuinely enjoyed it. it wasn't you never felt like you had to do it yeah at the beginning at the beginning <laughs> yeah so at some point did it change some at some point it turned into work for sure where you're like fuck i have to do this it wasn't like fuck i have to do this it was just like it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a nice day but i just wouldn't do this if it wasn't work was there as are there ever any things like in in that type of work where you're like you just really don't like any things where you're like fuck this shit again yeah or? well yeah, I would say I got my hair pulled a lot and I didn't like that because I've always had extensions. <laughs> oh, and that's fair. It's like me totally. forgetting to tell them beforehand because before a scene, you usually say your yeses and your noes. Mm -hmm. So like mid scene, if I forgot to tell somebody don't pull my hair and they're pulling on my hair, I'm like, fuck, but I don't want to stop it because then it kills like the momentum. The vibe, the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't stop thinking about the fact that your hair yeah, is like done for. Yeah, so, and I'm like, you <laughs> bastard. Uh, the so slight wait. pulling like my yeah, extension. This is so bad for them. <laughs> so, so wait, there's, because th you said something that I just found really interesting that your yes and your nose before you get into it. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. What other things that are people who obviously watch porn are completely unaware of that happen before the scene, like before it starts? Because we only see what's cut, what edit. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, are there other things where they're like, you, like, go ahead. Are there other things like that that were completely unaware? Because I didn't know that was a thing. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what people are aware of or not. We fill out paperwork. We do like uh, a lot of the time we do the sex stills, like the, the stills that you like people see and the thumbnails beforehand. So before the scene, like dicks already in vagina. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah. And they're, they're shooting and we're posing, pretending and they're shooting the photos to get yeah. those stills. This is happening before the scene. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that it, like that's a good thing that it happens before, or do you, would you prefer it to be after? I feel like it has to happen before because the guy's dick right after is going to be soft. Exactly, oh. yeah, it has to happen to. before. So it's your guys' fault. Sometimes it's yes. screen <laughs> grabs, but that's it's more common to take the stills beforehand. Yeah. And how how real is the sex in the porn? Because I've heard that like the cum is fake and yeah, like it's splooge like, and shit. I, I don't I know, know what's true and what's not true. Well, most of the time it's real. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, yeah, most of the time. The only time they'll use that is like for photos. So say at the end after everything for con like continuity, like my makeup's all fucked up because like cum will immediately get clear and you want it to show. They'll quickly come and put that on your Got face it. or wh wherever, and they'll take the pictures. But the guy actually comes. That's why you see it happening in the video. Yeah. Got it. Aren't yeah. there also like, there's also like stunt cocks. Like, isn't there like step standing cocks? Very rarely. Yeah? So rarely. So uh, rare. That The only time that I can imagine that happening, I, I've never had it done. But the only time like that's ever even been considered is if a guy can't, like can't, is struggling and he can't finish the scene. Okay. And how, how yeah. common is that? It's not common, but it does happen because mm -hmm. like it could be for any reason. Um, you know, even the guy like isn't feeling well. Maybe it took too much pre-workout. There's like a lot of reasons. And the way it works is once. Wait, you say you took too much pre-workout? That's not? happened to me <laughs> once. There was a guy who was what? like really struggling, struggling. And he was like, oh, I took a pre-workout. And it's like really fucking what with fucking my stuff. What fucking pre-workout did he take? I don't know. But. Um, I really want to know the answer to that. I wonder what he took that <laughs> fucked him up. So you can it, avoid it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it made him feel sick. It just, and he's just like, I can't because of the pre-workout. I feel like it was something else. I mean, he tried, but unfortunately, um, I've noticed a lot of the time is like it's very mental. So once they start struggling, like mm -hmm. once it's there, then it, they get in their head and it's all over. Yeah. 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 Well, it's all I mean, that's so fucking real. Like sex, I think for, for both sexes, no matter what, obviously for men, it's very visual right away. Um, but if you so, like the second you get in your head, you could just fuck the whole it's thing mental. up. Yeah. So so I, I again, like, I, girls can fake it. Guys can't. Yeah. So you said girls can fake it, guys can't. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm sure you think that you faked it before and got away with it, and I'm telling you, she just didn't say anything. I faked so <laughs> many orgasms. Me too. Like, Every so single many. one, to be somebody, honest. A lot of the time, I have somebody in the background going, God, now. <laughs> and I'm like, great. You're like, got it. <laughs> so, so okay, but let's say, oh, in your personal life, you fake it still? No, I don't. Because no. I don't want to like give them the wrong intention that what they're doing is working. Yeah. Are you dating Plus, someone now? Yes. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Is it Eli Tucker? No, no, we okay. broke up. Okay, I was just curious because I, I can't couldn't seem to stay out, out of a relationship. I've been in a relationship. I've been wrong in with two that. long-term relationships for the last ten years, and I was very much like about okay, this year I'm going to be single for a long time, and then just didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> how how has how has porn affected the relationships? Like, is it is it a, the ego thing fucked up for guys? Like, they can't take it or. Um, because obviously they must they must know coming into it that like mm-hmm. this is a thing that you do. I haven't I haven't really struggled with that too much because my first relationship I actually was married and he was another porn star so we met on set. Right. So there wasn't there wasn't an issue there. There was some jealousy sometimes because that's just I think jealousy is normal. Yeah. For but sure. for the most part, it was like very understanding about that. And then the second time he was already you know directing for like. Black Draw and had, um, you know, was the photographer for Vixen and, you know, shooting uh, OF with other girls and stuff. So, and he was dating Kendra Sunderland. So he was already very much like um, comfortable with everything. Yeah. Have you ever dated someone who wasn't like within the scene like that? I'm who- dating someone who's not in the scene like that right now. And he's he's com- he's completely comfortable with it. Has no problems. He was. He didn't have any problems. I kept I kept asking him, but I never I never shot with another guy. Like we've only been together for like a month and a half. Yeah. And I've been shooting my scenes very. Um, I've been moving, so I've been kind of taking things slow. And I kind of just decided I didn't want to shoot boy girl anymore, just because I had something booked and I kept dreading it. And I feel like. I feel like I just, it's because I really like him and um, I just didn't want to be with anyone else. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, but he was very understanding. He was he was okay with it. I just wasn't. So so he knew that you were going to do that and he was okay with it, but you, yeah. said, you said no. Yeah. So you, you're not active. You're still active, but is it just, are you doing all your stuff OnlyFans? Like, how is this working now? OnlyFans. I've been doing OnlyFans for thir- four years. So you do do any more shoots like traditional? Yeah. I mean, like I shot with Lena the Plug yesterday. I do girl girls and I do stuff like solos and by myself. I have been doing boy girl like while I was single. Um, but I think I only shot two scenes. It's all self-produced though, right? Like you get to produce it and control it. It's yeah, not by another company. That's what I'm company. saying. You're yes. not doing anything like in the, like it's all like OnlyFans type stuff mm-hmm. where you're making the content. Yeah. And that transition from working for like a company versus shooting for yourself, like... That was probably incredible, right? So different. Yeah. I love having complete control. If, like, I want to cancel something, I can. If I don't want to do something, like, how I want to do the scene, I can. I don't have a script or someone telling me, come now, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and did you feel pressure to do things a lot when you were in, like, the, um, what was what would it be, like, a company? Yeah, shooting yeah. companies. I, okay. Yes, I did. I would say one of the biggest things that I felt, like, pressure for because I was so flexible was to do flexible things because I would do, like I said, mild contortion and you have to really stretch. and. Warm what, up so they want you to like beforehand. be here like even like crazy back bends while giving blowjobs and just like crazy shit. What? And I would show up and they'd have this entire script written out for me that day. And it's all this crazy stuff. And I'm like, no, I haven't stretched in like a week. This yeah. is going to hurt me. But then I feel obligated Cause I'm there and they can't really this change like, the script I've, last second. This is so not the same for me. It's like when I show up places, they're like, lift this shit and do this crazy lift. It's just a little different, but it's the same, right? The same where I'm like, yo, I got to warm up. up. My shoulders kind of fucked up. Yeah. Like, Cause that shit's not easy. You want them to tell you beforehand so you can prepare. But that, that actually happened a lot to the point where I, I, I told my agent no more. <laughs> yeah. And pulling a muscle. I mean, you're done for you like can, a week, right? Like re- not even pulling a muscle. You could just really hurt yourself. Absolutely. And yeah. were you a gymnast? Is that how you learned to do contortionism? Um, no, I wasn't a gymnast. I just, I really liked stretching. It was like a form of meditation for me. I mm-hmm. was like, turn on my favorite TV show and I just always like to stay busy. I think I have ADD. <laughs> <laughs> so I always like to be doing two things at once. Um, and then I started stretching before I got into the industry because I was like thinking maybe I could do like um, some sort of dancing or something with like contortion. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted to do something with it because I was just very intrigued by it. That's so cool. enjoy doing the most now on like as far as work goes and porn and on yourself as well like what do you outside of work what do you enjoy those 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 two things i'm pretty easy um i enjoy showering oh my my god that's amazing that's my favorite holy shit like 
drinking a lot of hot, water. Hot or cold shower. Hot or cold shower. <laughs> hot shower. But then I always end it cold. So like the last smart. 30 seconds to a minute, I Very turn it smart. on freezing and you get out and you just feel amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It also I, makes your hair shiny. That's why mm-hmm. I do it. Because I and heard on, on your yeah, that it was good for like it, cosmetic. Like, I didn't know any of that shit. I wasn't there to improve my mental health. I just heard it makes you look yeah. nice. <laughs> I just thought it was, I just thought it felt good. It makes your hair fall uh, follicles like and you're that. super into like skincare and yeah but procedures. my skin is yeah i know i really am my skin is trash right now because i tanned my face for the first time i'm breaking i always break out from hormonal breakouts mm-hmm. but i have like a heat rash or something going on um did was it like a fake tan like a no, lotion no, no i did a tanning bed oh yeah. so it could be like a little heat burn or something yeah it is Nice. Interesting. But you also, you also do like collagen um, injections and stuff like that, I right? I do. I do PRP. I do um, lasers, Morpheus. I do everything. I don't tan a lot. I only well, have been tanning this year. Well, and it's very rarely, but I have Irish in me. So I get very pale and I'm too lazy to do spray tan. No, we whoa, get whoa. like that purple pink tint yeah. if we get too white and it's not cute. <laughs> it's not cute. <laughs> it's not. I just need a little bit of color. Yeah. But what's, what's everything? You say you do everything. Like all these other sorts of like. Uh, anything I love love med spas that's probably one of my favorite things is like what do you have for me what can I do mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm very much about preventative yeah for sure when and, did you get into that um god like really maybe like seven years ago yeah wow yeah and what about meditation because you mentioned that as far as like getting into it for stretching mm-hmm. do you do it for any other reasons like do you I used to meditate um, and I used to try. Honestly, though, you go through phases. Right now, I'm in a phase where I'm like, fuck meditation. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. I can't hold still. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I get like that sometimes, yeah. too. Yeah. Um, I like singing. See, whenever I sing, I, I feel like that's a form of meditation because it clears singing. my head. Yeah, I sing like for myself. Oh, dope. But like it just clears my head and I don't like think of anything else. So that's like something I do that I consider like. Do you yeah. feel like you're a good singer? Like, I'm or, a very good singer. That's awesome. Yeah. I, that's like my biggest dream. I wish I could sing. I am like, a fucking horrible Me singer, too. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> Actually, I don't know because I feel like I sound really good. I'm one of the people, in, you know, when like the music's turned way up. I'm like, yo, I'm fucking Drake yeah. right now. Uh, I, I sound yeah. amazing. Yeah. But I know you're also the person that recorded it once and l- yeah, played it back and it was so bad. slowly turn that shit down, you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. We're not the same. Yeah. Is that okay right there? Yeah, you just want it as close to your mouth as possible. So, because <laughs> that's like a little, you just want it like kind of like how I have it. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That's better. It's probably I, where it was before. Yeah, as long as you're talking into it is the key. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got um, it. So well, when there's two of us looking around, it gets hard. So, so you, you and your, you and your boyfriend, right? Mm-hmm. Um, does he enjoy the same things that you enjoy doing, like just in your free time? Uh, yeah. He's actually a streamer we haven't like really like went out it's not secret but we haven't like went public yet he's moving in with me um, <laughs> but he's a twitch streamer so he's like a huge gamer and nerd and is he good? i love games is he so he's good very at? good yeah. really what games he good at um like i feel like i, I beat him in a 1v1 he, i think he plays a lot of like <laughs> mmo rpgs so like world of warcraft i don't like final fantasy i think oh. he got really well known for final fantasy 14 really mm-hmm. oh so he he likes damn yeah, I guess I can't 1v1 that guy. Those are the ones that I like, though. I like, Those are the games I like, like. role-play games. Fantasy did you role-play. Ever, did you ever play World of Warcraft? Mm-hmm. Really? Do you I've play it now? A, yeah, I do, but I've never made a full-level character. I always restart the characters. But the thing is, is I don't want to go to Endgame because I don't like PvP. I just like exploring the environment and questing. Wow. I do, too. The going on the quest and just kind of doing your own thing. Yeah. I played Legend of Zelda when I was younger, and that was like my I'm favorite I'm all about game. the PvP. I'm trying to brag right now, kind of like trying to impress you, Loki. Uh, I was the first uh, Grand Marshal on my server years ago. What's that? Yeah. The yeah. Grand Marshal, that means like I had the highest rank in PvP. Oh, What's for what server? though? What game? World of Warcraft. <gasps> yes. This was back in the day, vanilla. Oh, shit. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. I am impressed by that. You saw that shit? You saw that shit? <laughs> Can you please just dumb that down? I want I want to understand the excitement so bad. Yes. That means I'm, I'm low-key so a lost. fucking I legend. I appreciate it because I'm not like that. So like, it's very hard. Yeah. But I appreciate that you understand what the hell he just yeah, said. Yeah, I know. Oh, she obviously really <laughs> Anytime plays. someone comes at me, I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. And I get I get trolled a lot. People will find me in the game <laughs> when I'm on stream and they just won't let my poor character do you go. Stream, do you stream World of Warcraft? I was, yeah. You I'm were. level 96 but I and then I stopped playing. Like I'm so close to finally making it full level and I'm like, okay. What, what <laughs> now character? Now I'm going to take a break. What character? I'm always a Blood Elf Mage. 
Blood Elf Mage. Yeah. Okay. I've, I've been a Blood Elf because I played it back when I was 16 around Wrath of the Lich, uh, Lich King. Yeah. And I think I made it to like level 55. Did I you had... ever play vanilla? No. I came in around Burning Crusade. Okay. Yeah. Danny, so you're not OG. I'm OG. No, you know, OG. Just, I'm flexing low key. No. Yeah, that's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at this. I'm getting points. Let's go. So uh, a server. What, what's that? A server is like, so if we're, if we're playing, there's multiple servers depending on like what part of the country you live in oh okay got it but like you it's know east so west coast too many people like in one game in one game and got then it. the bandwidth and shit will get all fucked up and then everyone it crashes right so you were the best on on that yeah in one Which server it was uh it was called mali ghost oh i haven't yeah that whoa i'm a nerd huh no, I think that. I had no. Know I, no, I, I know you're a nerd. I, I knew like that. Nerds. I'm a huge nerd. Yeah. yeah. No, I knew you were a nerd. I just didn't. I'm like I, I just literally don't know a huge about nerd. That. I'm like, a fantasy nerd. A gigantic. I'm a gigantic nerd. nerd. <laughs> you're a fantasy. What are you whispering shit over here? <laughs> Fucking relax. <laughs> you guys wouldn't hear that because you don't. He's have the only on. one with headphones on. But I was saying like he's not that big. She's whispering weird shit. It's like it's like ASMR shit. You are kind of big right now, aren't you? Cutting. Yes, you I am cutting. Be. I am cutting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Speaking of big, everyone has this question. Everyone asks this fucking question. What's the perfect size? Damn it. I always feel so bad. Listen, don't feel bad. Because you don't. Because oh, here's the deal. Here's the deal, too. For, let me preface this, obviously. Okay, okay. For everyone, it's got to be different, right? True. And here's the thing. It's not like... It's not like it's necessary. Like my preference is literally a fetish. It doesn't mean that like someone who's smaller can't satisfy a woman. It's literally a fetish. That's why. Yeah. Okay. But I do like bigger dicks. That's fair. There's nothing wrong with that. There's <laughs> yeah. nothing wrong with that. So what's the perfect size? I mean, I was saying eight inches, but then I think about it. I'm like eight inches is hurt, like hitting your cervix. It's yeah. Doggy. That. It's not, it's not enjoyable yeah, anymore. Let's say seven with girth. I, yeah. Okay. Thickness matters. Okay. So, I love this. So I love this. So, 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 okay. I got a question. I love this. So, which one are we going for? It's like if it was longer or thicker? It needs to be both. Okay. Oh. But let, okay, let's say, hold on. Let's say you got to pick. I get it both. Fair. But if you had to pick one. Oh, God. No. Well, if it's, yeah, I love this. I mean, if it's, if it's shorter, <laughs> it like, like, you know, if it's shorter and it's fat, I mean, then it's not like hitting where it needs to go. I would do without yeah. if it was either. Yeah. Whoa. So, you just can't pick it. Yeah. It both suck. I agree. Oh man! Yeah, that's if dope. it's too skinny, I get like I I feel like my vagina is loose, and it's, even if it it's makes long. me feel insecure. Even if it's even long, if it's I, long, yeah, because it's just it's like. Damn. I like, the, I like like one of my biggest fetishes that I've always had was like someone having to work themselves into me. So if yeah. I don't have that, I'm just like meh. Yeah, I agree. Oh, so you talking about like like. When you say work themselves into you, like yeah, like you like it doesn't just slip in. Yeah, you have to like work yourself in. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite part. That's my fetish. That's the best yeah, part. That's my fetish. I agree. That's the but best part. I maybe want to ask you. You do a laser vaginal tightening, right? I have. What the fuck? Can you, are you tell what, me about that? This? Because I am I, so curious. I saw like this um, article that came out because I mentioned that on like another podcast, and they're like, "Oh, she's had surgery." It's so not surgery. It's so <laughs> what simple. Is this shit? But basically, it's like this like dildo looking thing and they just put it up and you just get like little tiny zaps. It doesn't hurt. It's just like frequency and, and it like builds collagen and over the next few months, it just naturally tightens. And honestly, it's not because I needed to do it. It's because, I mean, I worked with Mandingo, which was why I was like, I didn't yeah. like that. So that's what like prompted me to do it. But it is a muscle and it goes Okay, back. so hold on a second. I got to take this back. It's like I just hold on. it tight because I have that fetish. Hold and it's on. also like hold there, on. so why the hell not? So like, the you know. Not? Okay, so now as a guy now, mm -hmm. you said moments ago, bigger was better. And then like, because it's a fetish for you and you like that. Yeah. But then you mentioned this guy whose cock is fucking obviously huge. I too big. It. Too, too big. big. Too big. It was terrifying. Okay, so I thought I would like it, and I fucking hate it. I don't know it. who Sorry, you're talking about. Oh, no. oh, yeah, don't, don't pull this one up. We're not pulling this I up. I didn't tell him I hated it, it while own. it was there, but I hated it. Yo, this was... This was is, it hard to act like you did like it? Well, yeah, because I was actually in pain. Like, yeah. the thing is not nice. Oh. I'm trying to yes. see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right here. Right here. Oh. No, yeah it's not nice then that's like in like in I real life i remember like trying like at the beginning and i was like oh shit is this gonna fit but that was like another thing where i was like oh wow. i gotta do it we've already done okay. like we've already had like four hours of preparation with an intro i was like ah. oh it takes four hours to intro well, kind of. <laughs> it was for 
I think it was for black.com and they do everything like really right. So you have like makeup, you take professional photos and then you shoot the intro. It takes a while. Are there other productions that are like just like shit compared to that or most like shit compared to that? Yeah, no, I mean, for me, um, pretty early on when I started shooting for the like companies, I shot for all the main companies and then just was a reoccurring character. So um, I mainly shot for the bigger companies. Okay, and and on your on your OnlyFans now, what kind of content do you do? Is it mostly girl girl? Um, it's going to be mostly girl girl. Uh, a lot of it's lifestyle, so just like me going about my day. Just you being you. Yeah, yeah, kind of like a secret diary, but I'm naked. Oh shit! And I masturbate. I love <laughs> that. So it's a lot of just self stuff. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Like with toys or just your hand or mainly. Um, my favorite toy is the Hitachi, but I'm getting other toys. But yeah, mainly like hands, Hitachi, or, or just like selfies. And, and like what stuff. is a Hitachi? Is it, I don't know what that is. Does it's it go inside? Vibrator. It's a vibrator, yeah, but does so it go it's all inside? Cl- no, it's all clitoral stimulation. Same. I like the Satisfier Pro too. It's my favorite. It wow. Bad. Oh, oh, it's the best thing in the world. Yes. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Okay, yes. It's like so gentle yes it's just like it's like a spa day for you and the like. satisfier is um it's like air pulse suction so That's like the womanizer. oh it's so I good i highly recommend. i love how i cannot relate to this at all i feel like i like really want to put relation. it on someone's dick though like it ha- it's like it looks well, the like vibrating, it works the vibrating's probably feel good no it's an air suction it's like gentle air like like what yeah what does that mean I'll air show suction. you. Air it. suction, exactly what it's <laughs> like. It's like a so like when it attaches to your clitoris, it literally like kind of sucks your clitoris like, up into silicone, a hole. So How do we compete with this? You don't. Like, How do no, we compete with this? You don't compete with it. It's, Jesus it's Christ! A, you don't have to compete. It's a completely different sensation. It's like a tool. It's like you know, you're not you're building a home, right? It you need a hammer and shit. It doesn't replace a man. It doesn't replace the connection or the penetration because even like dildos actually suck. They actually I do. hate that dildos shit. are the worst. Sorry, <laughs> but. Um, you don't compete with it. It's a completely different sensation. Okay. Agree. I would yeah. never so, penetrate myself willing, like, you know, like, oh, I'm going to masturbate. Let me penetrate. No. Like, that okay. needs to be a penis, glass for, in my is opinion. okay, though. For some reason, glass is kind of okay. I haven't tried that. Yeah. Glass. 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 <laughs> yeah. That sounds sharp to no, me. No, it's I'm just, no. For some reason, it's okay, and that one feels good. Okay, so you said, you said the connection, mm-hmm. right? Have you ever... I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. This let me is see the satisfier. Okay, and it, it sucks, you know, it, yeah, that's up like in the, that's up in the exactly hole. Like the wow. Like, just it just like brand. sucks the clit. Mm-hmm. And, but Amazing. it's like, you know, it's like the, out here, it's like really loud. And then as soon as it hits, it's, sh- and try, it gets quiet. You should try and it's still, but, but it's working. I, I'm going to look that up. It's working like when it's making no noise, it's doing its thing. Oh, it's doing its goddamn thing. Okay, it's okay. doing. Oh, yeah. she pulled it up down here. So anyways, I was going to ask. So have you ever, I guess like, done porn and you were like actually uh, like uh finding yourself wanting to be with that person that you were doing porn with like later on well i married Mm -hmm. my first husband so yes yeah um but yeah i would shoot with people and i develop crushes on them and you know wish that i could kind of like explore that off camera for sure because you can tell like when you're sleeping with somebody hey we have great chemistry yeah Mm -hmm. So, so does that happen often or? Um, it, uh, yeah, I'd say, it, I mean, I'd say there was like three or four that I was interested in sleeping with off camera. Can we I say never who really they are? did because I was always in relationships, but obviously it happened with the first guy I married. Can you say who they are? The people? Um, early on, he's married. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry, Kate and Cross. I really liked Manuel Ferrara. Um, I really liked Chad White. He was a favorite of mine. I was always interested. He, I loved shooting with him, and I loved his dick. He was just what, like what really do you like? What, what he did. Descri- so when you say you loved his dick, desc- like what do you it's mean? He's just really nice and fat. Okay. Thick girth. I told you I like girth. Yeah. And then he's also very passionate. Like when a guy like, um, I'm very much about energy. So if somebody's eager to fuck me, it turns me on. If yeah. they're not eager to fuck me, I'm not interested. Yeah. What makes sex amazing to you? When somebody's passionate and like really into it and into me but but so okay so my question would be then how do you know that that's that they are like that like what what things are they doing that make you feel that um like i mean it's a vibe 
Yeah, I, sure yeah. Sure. I don't know. I can always tell, like, I can always tell if a guy's there for me or if he's there for himself. And Just if he's there for me, then, yeah, you know. Yeah, he's like, this is a hookup. Exactly. Yeah, it's right. like his goal is not to come. His goal is to make me come. And you can That's even, like, it. hear in their noises that mm-hmm. they make, if they're enjoying themselves. I like to see somebody, like, really enjoy themselves with me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And okay. you said, um, so I saw that you, when you were growing up, like you were 13, you were watching like hentai porn. Yes. And then Wait, you what? graduated to like more like gangbangs, rape scenes, stuff like whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You did your research. I did. She did. <laughs> she did. Wait, wait, wait. Rape scenes? <laughs> oh, fuck. I did watch rape scenes. I was younger. Okay. I was exploring. No, I'm not judging. I'm just trying to understand like. <laughs> no, uh, no. I'm, um, I'm into you know like consent, you, you know, non-consent. You know, when you start so, watching like, porn, you just keep going more and more extreme. Yeah. You go down the rabbit hole. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No, you Me start too. at bondage and you end up at gangbang and it yeah. gets crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like I want this to happen. Well, I guess I, I guess I did like <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, it's partly I've intriguing. Calmed down. I've calmed down. Yeah, it's partly intriguing though. Sometimes I would click on random shit, like crazy shit, because I'm just like, what's happening? And yeah, how, and like, then you're like, why do I like Yeah, you? and then I'm like, I oh like shit. Like, <laughs> so what, what parts of it though, for the guys listening, what parts of it do you like? Like, What are the things that you're like, oh, this is why I like it? I thought for that one, it was more about just someone taking control. So, yeah. Someone yeah. being dominant. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. submissive in bed. I'm actually okay. very submissive. But so with women, you said that you're the opposite. Women are dominant. Way. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why it is. I think I just like eating pussy. So, I'd rather, like, like I get... A, I, I obviously like it when people go down on me, but... When I'm with a woman, I'm so excited to just get down there that I'm like, no, no, don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> this is dope. That's awesome because yeah. I'm I'm the opposite. I'm like with women, I'm more of like a receiver. With men, I like to give, I guess. Oh, and yeah. And that's probably like a weird like mental trauma where I like feel like I have to please them. But like. Maybe m- not. Maybe you just like pleasing. Like Maybe. Yeah, it, it, for me, it goes back to just seeing them, like, enjoying themselves, you know? That's true. But then I sit here and complain that no man's ever made me come. And I'm I like, dang it. <laughs> I know. No. I know. Not in bed. Like, one time, well, like, he was fingering me, but Sometimes, not in bed. Um, and you like clitoral stimulation? If you get the Hitachi, get the wireless one. Because, like, a lot of the time, you can pair that with sex. So as he's, like, fucking you, you can use it, and that'll make you come. But some men, like Bradley, you know, just gave us a good example of what? feel a little like they're in competition with the toy. Oh, no, I don't care. No, it. I'm down to bring a toy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Okay. I just meant, like, just solo. I'm like, damn, I can't, I can't do the thing like the toy. <laughs> suck. But I'm, like, doing it, like, having sex. And they sex. don't care about your pleasure. No, yeah. I agree. But yeah. I've been in situations where, like, you know, I introduced the toy and then I wanted it there every time. And then they're like, it's like an ego. Thing. I know. And then they get upset. And it's like, no, it's just. Damn. You do it feels you. good. Yeah, it's I don't know what to it. say. <laughs> exactly. I'm down with the toy and, and the sex. And for some for sure. women, it is hard to come. Like, I don't come easy. Me too. I don't, like, ver- I can probably count on my hands the amount of times I've been able to come from, like, just a guy alone. Do you and think it, was it ever penetration? Sorry. Was it ever just penetration? I can only remember like a few times. Even throughout yeah. the whole porn history. Yeah. I'm very clit- like I'm very clitoral. Me too. So like just penetration is very diff- difficult. And then I'm so used to vibrators. So even just my hands, like it obviously feels good. It's not the same. But I'm not going to reach the climax. <laughs> it's not I enough. Know? Yeah. Not fast it's, enough. It's not enough. It's Damn. not hard enough and your hand hurts. It's just, yeah, know, you get a fucking pump. Like you get this, yeah, you get a pump. No, you get, this, you get this little angle like, in your hand and yeah, you get stuck after. Like, this is burning. Yeah. And, uh. and now you focus on your arm and not your, yeah. your vagina and it gets all bad. But <laughs> <laughs> This is so funny. Oh, man. So uh, what's like the most awkward moment you've had uh, in porn? <laughs> the most like awkward moment. I mean, I, I'll just think of like, what's the most awkward moment? It's all, I always go back to poop stories because I did anal. So okay. like <laughs> I was doing I was doing one and it just wasn't my day. And uh, <laughs> like I remember the guy pulled out and then the director, she was so funny. Her name's Mason. She's like, oh, no. Oh, no. There's poop. Oh, no. She just made this huge <laughs> deal out of it. And I'm just like, it happens. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, we're doing anal. <laughs> like, what the so. fuck? So why she make a big deal? Because you're not um, supposed to be there. It's not so like you can't show that in a yeah, porn scene. Well, you just show. cut it, no? You, um, no, you yeah, they cut it for yeah. sure. But like that was just really I found I find it funny, but at the same time, like those are always like more awkward, more awkward situations when like stuff is coming out of your body that you just can't help. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. But maybe it wouldn't have been as awkward if she didn't make it awkward, you know? Because it sounds True. like you were fine. I'm fine. <laughs> and most male performers, they they do a lot of anal scenes and literally yeah. shit happens all the time. So most male performers, like, don't care. They're used to it. So I know that, too. So I'm very comfortable with it happening. Yeah. Has yeah. a man or a woman ever done anything where you were really grossed out and you just, like, couldn't yes. continue? Well, I could continue, but... Um, developed this like thing where i hate spit and wait someone what? yeah i hate you spit. mean you hate spit so i can i can do double blow jobs and be fine and you, wait 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 hold on a second <laughs> uh sorry do, so you can do double blow jobs and i could do cum swapping it's not my favorite thing but like it's fine it happens it's like some part of my brain clicks okay this is hot but like people sometimes like to spit in your mouth and I didn't even know to say no, like to put that on my no list. And during a scene, this one guy just on, like spit in my mouth and I started gagging yeah. and like I swallowed it. And literally for days, <laughs> I was nauseous and disgusted I have, like, and chills. I no listed him because I oh. held a grudge. I oh my God. Yeah. Wait, so wait. I, so gross. How, I, I guess, how do you know, like this guy's just going to spit in your mouth randomly? You should have asked me that's why i no listed him i was ugh. like so a no very list. intimate thing like you can't just be I don't doing want that it. I don't so, do it so a no list is like not working I'm not again i'm gonna work with them yeah okay yeah he's a nice guy but he grossed me out yeah it's not the vibe not, not the, the vibe. vibe yeah um okay so this this whole like what do you think about the perception because like i know like there's a like when people talk about girls doing porn what do you think about the perception that you know, people are like, oh, you should or you shouldn't do this. You know, everyone always is like kind of opinionated on like a girl doing porn or not doing porn. Oh, I mean, I think everyone's entitled to their own opinion and everyone's yeah. always going to have opinions. For so sure. really, it just comes down to like not giving a fuck and doing what you want to do because it's your life. Fair. And you never I gave a fuck. Like I in no, the first I, I saw an interview. You, you look so young in the interview. And he asked you, he's like, I think I've seen you before. You're like. I don't know. Maybe you have, like, <laughs> probably, like, yeah. you know, you've always been confident. In I've it. actually been, I've always been proud of it, actually. Like, yeah. I've always been very sex positive. I've always had a lot of fun. I really like where it's taken me in life. And I like being a sex symbol. I like, you know, the fact that people, like, masturbate to me. It's flattering. Agreed. Uh, but that's all just my personal preferences. I that, was there, have you ever, at a time, not felt that way? Like, have you felt like. I got called a hooker today. <laughs> what my my building manager someone like, just yelled it at you no, like in no. what sense like, so my building manager who's always been really really nice to me and, and keep in mind i'm new here my handyman was like smoking a cigarette in front of the building which isn't allowed and he like freaked out on him and he was like oh you're with you know you're here for her and he's like uh what did he say he's like i took a chance renting this apartment to that hooker and like what? terrible things so there's it's sorted. There's yeah, yeah, other yeah. building managers. Let's go find I'm this not, motherfucker. I'm not worried about it. But it's like things like that where it doesn't make me feel bad about myself. But it's like, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's just unnecessary. I mean, but that's also just like stigma about the porn industry. Because you moved into that apartment from a castle, right? Yeah. So it's like not like he took a chance on your finances, you know? No, 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 no. You know, it's like... Yeah, like what fucking chance would he take it? He was just making money. I don't know. The fuck? I know. And I'm not a bad tenant. Like, I do my best. I can see where some things that I do are a little annoying. Like, my maid accidentally, like, took the boxes down and didn't break them down and wrap them up. And I literally had someone come the next day, like a trash company, and pick it up. Like, I do little things like like that. But I'm also a very busy person. And I'm still adjusting because I've owned my homes for the last couple of years. Yeah. So, it's like a thing. What made you decide to rent when you came out here? Um, I just realized like... Probably not knowing where you wanted to go, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was... I wanted to get out of Oregon. I wanted to get out as soon as possible. So like buying how a is, house... Hold on. Was, how, oh, I'm sorry. Inra, how is living in Oregon? <laughs> sounds um, like really boring. I just... I, I don't know. I don't know much about Oregon. It sounds I boring to me. I loved it at first. I moved okay. out there with my ex-boyfriend and I loved it at first because hiking has always been one of my favorite things to do and yeah. it's so... There's so many waterfalls and hot springs, and it's just absolutely stunning. You see green green trees and ferns everywhere. How long did you live there? 
I think three years. I'm very bad with time. Um, was it at one point though, like if you're two years in, you're like, all right, I'm, I'm over the ferns I and got, shit. I got bored. <laughs> okay. I got so bored. There was never anything to do. It's like, what are we going to do today? Okay. Hiking or, you know, to go do something like a hot spring or something fun. You always had to kind of drive. Yeah. Um, Probably so, like and then it rained a lot. So it's like, uh, oh, I can't hike today. I'm yeah. just, you know, going to hang around the castle. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I have to hang around the castle. <laughs> no. Yeah, it looks nice, so I never, cool. That's the other thing with it, though, is like there was everything there, so I just never left, and it just was very much just boring. I agree. My hometown's really close to Oregon, so like it's just you stay home. Like if you have yeah. everything at home, you don't want to leave. There's yeah, not a lot going on. For anything, and then you know, there's just Wait, no Sac excitement is close in your life. Cause I'm not from Sacramento. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm from Sac- Redding. Oh, Redding. Wait, yeah. Redding is Red, is Redding close to Oregon? Redding's like. Two hours, hour and a half from the Oregon border. So wait, Sac and then Redding's even farther. Uh, or, yeah. It yeah, takes like three hours to get to Sac from Redding. Kind of the middle of nowhere. Literally. Yeah. It's like yeah. in a valley. But what is it like in Oregon? Is like, is there a... Is I was there, in Portland. Oh, okay. So you're a big city. Well, I was in a cabin in a, a national forest for six months. Oh, shit. That actually log, sounds dope. Though. A that log cabin so cool. on a river. And I, I, own the, I lo- own the cabin. That was like the first home that I bought. That's but. awesome. I loved the cabin. Do you still own it? Did you sell it? No, I have it. Yeah. yeah. That sounds I wanna fucking go. I'm going to Airbnb it because everyone goes to Mount Hood to go snowboarding and stuff. I just mm-hmm. need to finish the deck. Um, it's so beautiful. That one is magical. It did get boring. Like I thought I'd be out like doing nature things all the time, but I ended up just like on my MacBook without any good internet, <laughs> like, like 24 seven. Cause I didn't have anything else to do. Agree. It was very difficult to live out there. It was very far away from everything. Yeah. Like, it was like everything, it. like a 30 minute drive, 40 minute drive. Yeah. Like a 40 minute God, drive. I like going, do that. going to a nice grocery store. Cause I, I, I'm a snob about food quality with yeah. like 40 minutes there and back. And but I you know hate what? driving. You can't get an Uber. You have to have like propane. It was like, it was the thing. Needing Here, propane. Hold on. Though. <laughs> no. Here's the crazy thing about it though. Isn't LA just the same shit anyways? Cause everything's so congested traffic wise. It's like you end up driving half an hour anyway. I'm in West Hollywood. I don't, I don't really have to leave West Hollywood. And I told you I'm lazy and I lift everywhere. So yeah. I just get a bunch of shit done on my phone that I need to do while I'm in the Uber. Relax. So, so here's the crazy thing in my mind. I'm thinking, what's the difference in living in Oregon and not doing anything if you're just staying? In the place, like if you're in West Hollywood, not doing anything. Think about I'm how your mood would be. No, I'm so busy. I'm always see. seeing people. I'm always leaving. Like I've stayed incredibly busy since yeah. I've been to LA, and there's so many people out here. Yeah. That was another thing is like yeah. there weren't a lot of people in Oregon that I, I guess, would connect with. And yeah. sometimes you conform to your needs. environment. Like you can slow down if you're in a slower paced city, whereas versus like LA, you really want to get shit done out here. Why, why did you, you pick to. Oregon? Did you want to slow down? Um. Yeah. I liked, yeah, I did want to slow down. Um, I had been in Woodland Hills for five years, and I was like, oh, I kind of want to get out of L.A. And then I was uh, shooting for OnlyFans. My boyfriend was, like, a photographer, videographer first. So I was like, oh, we could do this anywhere. Like, let's go somewhere beautiful. Like, I'm yeah. very I'm very nature-oriented, um, and I, I just, like, love being out in nature. And I also i have always lived in California, so I just thought it would just be like fun to live in a different state. Yeah. So then why back now in California? I broke up with my boyfriend. I was super bored. I wanted to collaborate with a lot of people and Oregon just no longer had anything for me. Yeah. And I'm from California. My family's here. Um, yeah. That's really What's your it. favorite part about California? Obviously not the taxes. You know. No. What is my favorite part? I just like how convenient it is. Yeah. Like, I'm going to say I love West Hollywood. Um, but I'd say, I'd say it's very convenient and my family is here. So I'm seeing my family a lot more again. Yeah. I have a question about like the, the traditional porn versus only fans. Like, did you make like, how, how, how different is the money? Oh, it's night and day and it's so much less work. Yeah. Yeah. It's night and day. Um, so when I would shoot for a company and I don't care about talking about finances, when I would shoot for a company, um, I would make, and I was, I was high. I was like one of the top, like, uh, highest paid rates. girls. How do you, how do you become one of the top paid? Like, you're just in demand. When you're in like, demand, you can, you, you can go higher. Um, but it was 1500 for a day's rate of boy, girl. I think I was 800 to shoot girl, girl. Anal was 3000 DP was, I don't know, 3,500, 6,000. Like my first anal was six grand. And now I shoot for OnlyFans and 
depending on how much I do or what I do, it's like 150 to 250 a month. And that's like, there's a lot of girls that make a lot more, but that's yeah. really good money. And that's like nice. That's amazing. And you're like day. not having DPs, you know, no, you're like doing everything so you want to do, you know? Oh, wait, how, 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 so <laughs> how is the D? Do you enjoy that stuff? I do enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. It feels good, but it's not something like I'm interested in happening off camera. Cause I think I'm, I'm very much like an emotional, like passionate person and I yeah. like to connect. So that one is just so much going on. So even though it's fun and it's an experience, I'm not ever interested in doing it off camera. Yeah. So I have a question then because like, I'm sure dudes wondering, they think about this kind of stuff like how how real is like porn versus like regular sex? And I say regular sex, there's I mean like in, a, in, a, in your relationship, right? There's a huge difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a huge difference. Um. My moans, like, like I don't talk a lot off camera. I yeah. don't like to talk. Like, most of the time when I'm on camera, I'm in my head, I'm thinking, what do I say next? What do I say next? And yeah. I have, like, these, these different phrases that I repeat again and again when I think that it's been too long without saying something. Because yeah. it doesn't come naturally to me. Um, the positions, like, reverse cowgirl, like, yeah, that shit's happened off camera for sure. But the, I like the guys that I were dating were super like they were already in porn, you know, like shooting scenes and stuff yeah. like that. Um, I'd say it's drastically different. What's your favorite position then? Like off camera? Like you're just, in, you know, missionary and docky. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Which is oh, why I yes. wanted to ask you. I love lazy sex too. Yeah. Like, I mean, I fucking love lazy sex. Yeah. But also missionary with someone who you are really into is the best position, it is. you know? Yeah, missionary might be So like let's talk about but this. But it's horrible if it's someone you do not really you're not no, really into the and face they're and like thinking, smell. Why am I in this? Yeah. I'm already in it. And some <laughs> men they put their whole body on you and then they just like lay on your chest and, and like they're pump sweating and you're a lot. Just like, if they're sweating a lot and you're yeah. not into them, like if they're sweating yeah. and you're into them, it's like, "Ooh, I like your sweat." If you're not, you're like, "Yeah, you're like ah. sticking to them and it's gross." I love how I'm like hearing this and I'm thinking like have i ever done that <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure no i know i've been into you and it's like already Fuck. too too late you know they're in it <laughs> yeah Fuck. you know so, so it's it, but there's a major difference obviously with someone that's like you're you really like you're really engaged with mm -hmm. what do you think like i don't know i guess we're, we're, we're talking earlier about like the difference of obviously on obviously i know it's completely different but if we're saying okay size matters right to a degree and then we're talking about like, you know, whoever you're with, I don't know, however big or small, or whatever, it's not important, but having like sex outside of camera, because I think a lot of guys, they'll see porn and they'll be like, this is so crazy. Like, this is so. It's a performance is what it is. Like, I'm always thinking, keep high energy, like moan, say things, do the next crazy thing. Like, it's definitely a switch on and a performance. Whereas when I'm off camera. I'm more thinking about like myself and just going with the vibe. Yeah. So you think it, like, even though you're enjoying it, obviously you, you said you've enjoyed it in most cases, mm -hmm. but it's, you're still kind of playing it up. hundred percent. Cause, cause the guy's thinking like, do girls, like if we're watching porn, like do girls really want all that shit? No. Not in really. my opinion, no. Some girls do. Some girls do. Maybe. I'd say most girls don't. And, and also like not all the time, like that's intense. It's just like too much for like, I just think Abby. the aggression that I've seen personally in porn with men, it's like when they're like pounding you like that. Well, personally, I like that part. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. I love but it. But doesn't it, don't you think it comes back to like who you're with? Because like getting pounded by some, like in a hookup by some random person, I guess to me, I'm not really into it. But like if it's someone I'm like into and dating, I think it's super hot. But like, I just, I think, feel like there's levels to those things. I like that part. Go off. That, I mean, yeah. go, I love that for you. That, that part I like. It's like the hair pulling and the slapping and just like all the crazy positions and everything that. Like I, when they try and make you do con contortion type shit, you're like, yeah, it's not really yeah, my thing. Yeah, like even, okay, so I shot with Kieran Lee recently. Kieran Lee's amazing. He's so great at what he does. But it's like very, very intense. Like the entire scene, it was like, and, like if I was off camera, I would have I like stopped a long time ago because it was so intense. And it's a good intense. It's such a good intense. And like he even towed me at one point. And, Wait, like, did, what? He, he like, towed you? Yeah, he was you like mean? doing crazy things, like like choking me with his toes and crazy things. Choking you with his toes? Yeah. What are you talking about? 
Wait, like, where is this? Where the fuck is this porn well, at? Hold on a second. Toes. Whoa. Is this porn that exists? Okay. He's fucking. Thank you for the promotion. Yeah, he's but, fucking yeah. with his toes. And literally, I enjoyed it. Like, I super enjoyed it. Loved what? Literally. Like, wait, but big I, toe in between big toe and like. I, I think it was this toe and this toe. And he was and he choking like, you. Yeah, he did something crazy with like right here. I was like, this whoa. This guy's fucking oh. Jason Bourne. Which Who the fuck is, is this guy, which dude? Which was so fun and interesting and it's an experience, but I don't want that off camera. You know, off camera, I'd be like. <laughs> but you said you liked it. It. Hold on, you said it's you an liked experience, it. Experience, okay? Yes. That's okay. Because it's experience. It's like you don't. Okay, maybe we can think of like a Sunday or or like ice cream. You don't want a fucking Oreo marshmallow caramel drizzled ice cream every single day because you're gonna get sick. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, we can do weightlifting like you're you. Sometimes you feeling fat and you're like, I want the whole and thing. You, yeah, or like weightlifting. You do these videos and you lift massive ass okay. shit in like I 50 women. And it's like, would you do that every single workout? And it's no. a lot of work no. to shoot the scenes. Like it's a lot of fucking energy. You're literally like, you have to stay on and give it 100% off camera. I don't have to. But what do you like about <laughs> someone's toes? Like he, I don't get that. I didn't like the toes. I didn't care about their toes. I like, I like being choked. Okay. So that's why. Like it actually did choke me. Like he knows some sort of technique he's that a, works. He's fuck as insane. Yeah. This guy's like 007. Yeah, no, he he God. has mad skills. I don't know how I could have held it together. You know, I would I I would have laughed if I just saw like. like I'm just trying to figure out. Like, I'm know? trying to figure out what position. Is I know where like, was he? Nobody, like, nobody's <laughs> ever done that to me before. Where? I don't even know. How like, he are you did laying it. on the bed and you're, <laughs> he's like doing this like to you? This, like, and his toes were here. <laughs> Like that choking me. Like, how do you even and get honestly, to Honestly, subscribe and watch. <laughs> no, I, you have to I, see. I, I really want to know, like, how do you get to that? That's just like a. I'm, uh, honestly, the scene was a whirlwind. I don't know what all happened during it. It was fucking shit. crazy. <laughs> do, you, do you have any other crazy situations like that? Um, Because that's like. Yeah, no, I've definitely been in, like crazy, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Yeah. Do you, is it, does it mostly happen with, with the OnlyFans stuff or was oh. this prior? Um, Prior. Like okay. shooting scenes, but I have a terrible memory. Like it, something has to jog my memory for me to bring it up. Yeah, I get it. That's in- intense, though. Just I, cu- I just couldn't. I'm me and man's feet. I'm like, oh no. I've seen Brad's toes a couple times. If those things came near my face, it's fucking. Oh, no. These are these I are. I mean, I can I, get down and dirty, but it's not my preference. It's not like I'm like, ooh, toes, you know. And when you go to like, if you're in a hookup, say you're hooking up with a guy that's not in the industry, just a guy that you met or whatever the case is, do they feel like, or in bed, do you feel like they? overdo it and perform a good question. because they like feel like they have to um it's a great question you know i don't i don't think so but a common thing that i've noticed is i feel like i have to be put on a performance because of who i am yeah. so i feel like there's that pressure to be um not vanilla in bed and i'm actually very vanilla <laughs> you know like i really am that's like the kind of sex i prefer it feels the best for me um, so I do feel that pressure like, oh no, I'm not enough. I'm going to disappoint them because they're expecting this because they've watched my porn. Yeah. Little do you know the man's thinking the same thing the whole time. Yeah. Like, yeah you know? He's like, fuck, what am I going to do here? Like, <laughs> yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes. There so, is definitely it's pressure. so interesting that concept would so you feel like that if you were to hook up with a porn star or somebody in the sex work industry, would you feel like you had to really put it on? No, no. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't what? believe you at all. Yeah. I don't believe you at all. I would, I'm because like, I mean like, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna try to do regardless. Like, I gotta try to figure it out regardless. Yeah, I just feel you like know? you. I feel like you would get in your head a little bit and be like, I gotta fucking work this For, right now. I mean, I wouldn't. I would. If, okay. I think, you, I think that you would up your game a bit, so but you're too. not gonna. I'm be definitely too taking crazy. some Cialis. Yeah, you're you know? upping your game. You're really? like, I can't 100%. fuck this up. 100% I'm taking Cialis. I mean, what do you mean? And what, why Why would you? What does Cialis do? It's like a Viagra. So yeah. it just makes sure, like it doesn't make you hard. You still have to be turned on, but it makes it easier to get hard and stay hard. Got yeah, it. Yeah, it makes your dick like this. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, it's amazing. So is, and like, I don't know, is your dick not like this normally? I'm not, not I, it, like it, trying it to shade you. I'm just curious. And then even if you have like pressure or you're worried about pressure because you want to impress somebody. She's smart. <laughs> no, definitely. Good. I've been around the block. Yeah, that leads to shit. <laughs> No, she has the answer. <laughs> no, no, that makes it makes perfect sense. So you feel like you're like, yeah, I'm just going to take that insurance. It will get hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you hard. know, it's going to get hard. It's like, obviously, you still need to be into it. 
Got for it. it to get as hard as possible. I never thought about that. Because yeah. when you hear like, you know, a guy that, you know, doesn't suffer from, from erectile dysfunction saying, oh, I need to take this or I'm going to take this. Sometimes I feel like maybe even me. I've I think, been like, oh, I wonder why. I think you'd be surprised. A lot of dudes take that shit. I think I would who be don't, surprised. Who don't necessarily need it. I wouldn't say all performers, but a lot of... Oh, um, me, 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 me. Um, some performers I knew would take uh, Cavajack. And Isn't this what they inject it? Mm-hmm, they yeah. inject Whoa. it into the vein. And that one, you don't have to be turned on. That one, you just you get just got rock hard. Fucking, but yeah. that one is very unhealthy. And yeah. even I know my one of my siblings who I don't have a relationship with like has full-blown erectile dysfunction from using too much of it. I see it at work. Um, there's me- a lot of men, because I'm a sonographer, so when they come in for having erectile dysfunction or something wrong with their testicles, it's normally because mm-hmm. they were injecting um, some sort of steroid or something mm-hmm. to help them get hard. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, yeah and when you scan it, I mean, you can just see their their testicles are kind of just gone. Like, they're not, they're, there's no blood Poor supply guys. anymore. Oh, no, your it's manhood. Bad. Don't do it. Don't inject things into your penis, please. Mm-hmm. Damn. I mean, well, I mean, your dick's super hard, though, you know? Like. And have you ever seen a penis pump in real life? Oh, you, yeah. Well, do you mean the ones that are Wait. the surgery? Wait. Yeah. I think so. I'm not going to say who because I don't think it's public, but there Got is it. a well-known performer who I was told has it, and I guess they, like, pump the testicle. Yeah. Wait, wait, what the fuck are we talking about right now? So you can have a pump, Mm -hmm. like, surgically put into your penis, and you pump the testicle, and it makes your dick hard. Yeah, and in your abdomen, they actually have a reservoir of saline, where that's what makes your dick get hard. When you pump it, it releases the saline out of your your abdomen, out of a sac, into these two tubes in your penis, and it makes it it get hard. I hope it feels as good. Does, they Wait, like what the fuck are you guys talking about? I heard about? that it can go both ways. So someone's dick, it's just because their dick doesn't work completely? Is that? Yeah, it, that would be a case of they full on have erectile dysfunction. Mm-hmm. And, and with then performers, they have some surgically... you're out of work. So. I actually am studying okay. it right now. I have a photo. They, so you're saying something surgically implanted. A pump. Inside, like where's the pump at? Like In your balls. In your balls. Yeah, but like where do I pump it at? The balls. Like, you, you pump the testicle. So I go like, I squeeze the balls mm-hmm. and it, mm-hmm. what? Yeah. The fuck? Here. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I know. What the? And, and the fuck? way it gets hard is they good. have a sack of saline in here, and so when the saline, so they got to refill this. Like, what's the upkeep no, on this? No, so shit? it goes. The saline is released into your penis, and then when you're all done, there's a valve in the other testicle. So one of them's a pump, one of them's a valve. You release the valve, and it sucks the water back up into your so abdomen. Cool. Well, I mean, that's what? amazing for guys the who have erectile fuck? dysfunction. Yeah, I mean, that's. I, I yeah. didn't even know that was a thing. That's yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. I just, a good I, this whole thing just started of just being like, yo, I take Cialis. I would take Cialis if I was going to mm-hmm. have sex. You know, with yeah, the- Cialis, as long as you yeah. don't overtake it. Is pretty but safe. also, uh, I had a question. Is most of like the actors that are on it, are they on like testosterone or something because of like so many scenes or so many things they could do? Do you think a lot day? of, yeah, do you think a lot of the actors are taking testosterone? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Um, I don't think so. They could be. Yeah, uh, I know. I know everyone takes Viagra and Cialis. Like that's pretty much Super all common. of them. But like to maintain yeah. their their bodies, do you think a lot of the men feel pressured to do that as well? Like I'm sure women do. Sometimes I, I would say not all performers have nice bodies. Um, but like yeah, definitely women do feel feel the need. But yeah, just men in general. I I think it's just men in general, not just performers, who feel the need to like keep up with themselves. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. super common. Yeah, guys on testosterone is pretty normal. And how did you, how did that affect you in the industry? Like feeling like you had to keep up with all the other women? Um, yeah, I I would get very insecure. Um, cause like I've I've always been curvy, so like my weight fluctuates, and you know you read comments online, and you know um, I definitely early on I had an eating disorder. And I was able to kind of get past that, but I've always had like insecurities about my body. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think just everybody about, just does. Just about what? Just about the way you look or? Yeah, the way I look, I would say like just my weight. I was always very, in like my stomach. I was always very insecure about my stomach because I've always been like a little more plushy and um, I didn't really start working like full on working out with a trainer until a couple of years ago. But do, yeah. you, do you like working out? I love working out. It's it makes me amazing. feel really good. It's the best thing yeah. in the world. Yeah, I love working out now. And now I'm strong, so I can like work out hardcore. But I've had surgeries because of insecurities. Like I got my boobs done, and that was definitely an insecurity. My ex, he didn't he didn't mean to, but he would always like shoot me from the back. 
and I only shot with him for like like mainly him for a couple of years and like he'd always be like oh it doesn't look good turn around and so I always had the butt shot so I was like well what's wrong he's like it's just not your like best asset your best asset your ass let's get the best shot and I'm like but my boobs you know and then like I'd see photos and I'd be like oh my stomach doesn't look good and this and that so like it definitely brought on a lot of insecurities yeah Mm-hmm. I mean, and think, do you regret uh, sorry do you regret getting any of those procedures yeah, done yeah yeah which one do you I, regret the most i had a fat transfer too so i had like lipo and i just don't like the scars that's like my biggest thing and i'm trying to get rid of them with my fun little procedures but i would say i just regret both of them i would have gotten my i would have gotten my boobs done anyway but for me i was like let's go big or go home so i ended up with these huge boobs and i just felt like they just made me feel bigger and I look down, I've had one reduction and I'm considering getting another and it just, it just doesn't feel like me. Yeah. They're fun. They're beautiful. No, they're, they're like, super fun. Yeah, they're nice boobs, but it just. But only for certain outfits, right? Like. Yeah, they're just kind of a pain. Yeah. I love I, how I, I kiss. No I just, boobs, so. I'm sorry. I'm not trying. I mean, I just can't relate to this <laughs> me shit. Me neither. But... And, they, <laughs> and like, because they're so much bigger, they fall too. So like. Now I'm like always having to wear a bra, whereas before I could just be really cozy and like not care. Now I'm having to like worry about keeping up with them. So I am considering like another reduction, which is which I'd have to get like a little lift, which is just like another insecurity. Now I'm insecure about my big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a bad one to have. Well, um, it depends, right? It depends. Can I ask, were your boobs small before? No, I had a C cup. They were never small. Gotcha. Yeah, I was like, like just normal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. I just want to shift it a little bit uh, outside of obviously all this porn stuff. What, what do you, what are you like most passionate about? What do you enjoy doing the most? Um, I know you do Twitch. Obviously you play the video games. I love video games. Yeah. I'm very passionate about anything to do with fantasy. I'm very passionate about my dogs. Um, I'm very passionate about like health and taking care of myself uh, she's sounding like me right now yeah physically <laughs> and mentally yeah. um hiking nature just things like that yeah what do you what do you see yourself doing like in the future in the next 10 years like business wise anything different um i'm kind i kind of go with the flow to be honest like yeah. right now i'm in a good spot and i have like a lot of aspirations for right now in the future probably just like invest in properties i really i've always loved i've always loved real estate which is why i play the sims so much so fun yeah Uh, and i just were like really unique properties so and decorating them so that's probably something i'd get into in the future where do you think you found that passion like how'd you find the sims just straight up the video game was yeah. like, oh, I like this shit. Yeah, all I do is decorate and like build things. <laughs> Are you good at interior design? I think so. It is so hard. How do we? How do we? But, dis- but I have an aesthetic, you know, and it's not everybody's aesthetic. No, but it's a good question because I'm decorating my apartment. It's so hard because I am not good at decorating. Oh, it's one of my favorite. It's things. So hard. I it's I'm it. terrible. I don't even. Like, but I always go for like medieval French chateau, like things that oh. I hate anything modern. But that's <laughs> like, something. Oh, you don't like modern? Buy, I hate modern. I won't buy anything modern. But see, that's a niche, and that's something like me who I could really use someone like to help me out. You could market yourself and be like, hey, I will give you a you're, medieval badass home. Like, you're really you know, into you could the be fantasy the new shit. Interior I'm, designer. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm a fantasy nerd for do you, sure. Do you do you like do you like like role I just want to live in it. <laughs> do you like role playing shit? Mm, no, like I want to play D and D. I want to yeah. really get into that, but like role playing off camera, I don't talk, and I liked so no, I'm not <laughs> yeah. interested. And then I just feel like it'd be weird and awkward. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> for me. <laughs> but you're in, like, what do you what, what do you think got you into that? Like that that style. Um, I think that probably movies, I've always been a really big movie buff and I've just always gravitated towards historical and fantasy and, and even books growing up. Like when I was in high school, I was very painfully shy. Like I couldn't talk to anybody. I had extreme social anxiety. I I only had one friend. Um, so, and even in the classroom, I had such bad anxiety that I couldn't pay attention. I had to go somewhere else. So I would always read fantasy adventure novels and it would just take me out of that anxiety. I'm so, this is, I'm not trying to make this about porn again, but it's so interesting that like you were, you felt this way in certain circumstances, but you were able to go on camera and like put yourself in that circumstance. Yeah. I feel like it's a different character though. Um, like you become somebody else. I'm very different than, you know, like 
who I don't think people when they see me and they see my persona until like I guess recently when I started doing a lot more things that showcase my personality. Right, like but this. I don't I don't think people would expect me to be how I actually am. Um, I think that's so common with everyone. Yeah. Everyone on the internet, it's like it's yeah, you, it's a you have a perception. You, you play a character, and it's fantasy. Like like social media, a lot of it's just fantasy. We're mm-hmm. just trying to entertain you. Yeah, and also like being comfortable in your sexuality, like it really helps with your confidence, you know? So like right. being in the industry and like, you know, it's probably was pretty easy for you to like blossom in your personality in that field because, you know, you're comfortable there. Yeah, I was always a very sexual person. Um, that's literally all I ever thought about was sex. <laughs> like, When I, did you first realize that? When I was younger, I'd like masturbate to the JCPenney catalogs. Like anytime like something mildly came Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait okay, masturbate girl, to the what? The girls in their bras. Like the the, bra. the J C Pe- the J C yeah the girls in their bras holy shit I would did you did holy you? shit <laughs> you too wait how old are you twenty nine okay yeah no I did what? I'm I, yeah back in the day back in the day day yeah I did it like a how old wait what the I was fuck? young I was young when okay. I started masturbating because it felt really good but like the way that I did it is like I'd have a scenario in my head like maybe like I I got the inspiration from something I saw on TV or in a movie and I would choose her face I'd be like okay you're the you're the girl in this (laughs) so I would like go find a girl that was sexy and then I would put her in my little fantasy so you so you were in the you were in the girls first I guess so I've always been bisexual yeah Mm mm-hmm Damn, it's dope. Yeah. How come it's so it's so different for guys? Like, you can't be like, I've been I'm bisexual. It's like so different. Some guys can. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like perception of that is so like It's very unfair and it's, hypocritical. It's sad. It's it is. So hypocritical. Because there's so many men who are bisexual and they just can't be like for a girl it's hot. For a guy, there's such a bad stigma surrounding it for the most part. So like it is it is unfortunate. But then there's that fair question. Like if a man um, that you were interested in came out and said, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm bisexual. I also like to hook up with men. Is that something that you would make maybe like be a turn off to you or would you not care? Um, I wouldn't care. It would definitely be something I'd say go off and explore. Um, I don't find it sexy. So it's not something I'd ever get turned on by. But I would. Yeah, yeah I mean, preference. sexuality is so broad. Like so there's broad. such a mm-hmm. spectrum to it. Mm hmm. So I have a question. This yeah. is really random. This is so I'm curious because you're talking about things that turn you on and don't turn you on. What is thing for all three of you guys? What is something that like a male or female could do where you're like, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous, like beautiful, everything you thought they were, and then oh, like they question. do something and you're just like, I'm oh, shit. you're no longer attractive. Like, like turn if, off, instant turn yeah, off. Yeah, instant turn off. Like if they like burped in public and didn't say excuse me or no. like the smallest thing or whatever it is, like what is something that someone can do that you're just like, I am no longer interested? It's a great question. Yeah, I think it's like, oh God, if I if I start thinking that they're a bad person. Yeah, I was going to say. I, yeah. Say if, something homophobic. He, That's happened to me and... Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I things, just I couldn't like, even look at yeah, them the same. Close-minded. When they're close-minded, they're judgmental. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just gonna say when someone smells no, weird. Like, <laughs> you know, I was like, "Yo, she smells funny. I'm or fucking even, done." Even like toxic. If somebody's very like toxic, and then they can't like they're not. Um, uh, what's the word? I'm like self. They don't have emotional maturity yeah, or intellect. Emotion, yes, and they're not self-reflective, and they do, can't see past it. It's just like, eh. yeah, yeah. That's a huge turnoff. Fuck. But also just I, like sweet people. If I think that somebody is not a good person, I lose like interest in them completely. Absolutely. Or if they're like super egotistical. Yeah. I was dating a guy for like a year and a half and then he came out and told me that his brother was gay, but he said my brother is an F word. And I, it, from that oh. moment on, I couldn't even look at him the same. Do I you just not like his brother like because of it. He, I mean, he the whole time he was like, oh no, I don't have anything against that. His but brother? it's like the way that he brought it up and spoke about it, you could tell there was, he does feel some type of way. He mm-hmm. didn't want to admit it to me because he knew that that upset me. Yeah. But it's like just like the way that he spoke about his brother being gay, you different. could tell it was just gross. It was so gross. Unfortunately, like a lot of that could be like influence. Like some people are just wired that way because they grew up like with certain family members or like yeah. maybe their friends. It's just very unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. I, I, honestly, I'm you know, to answer that question. If a chick smells funny, it just throws me off. Really? Yeah, just real simple. Well, men just smell hygiene, so it's also that <laughs> chemistry. Because sometimes, like a person can smell, and you're like, ugh. And other times, it's like, it could be good. I like their yeah, yeah. oh, hundred percent. It's chemistry. One hundred percent. Like yeah. I'm not saying like all smells are bad. Just sometimes you're like, well, that one threw me off. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes smells are good. I'm like, I like that. You know what's funny? For sure. Is I know like when I bond with one of my dogs, I know if I have good chemistry with the dog because I like the way the breath smells. Mm -hmm. Like I smell my yeah. dog's breath. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a dog person thing because do you let your dog thing. lick your like, face? Yeah, they'll lick my nose. Like oh, I trained her to no. lick my nose so I can smell <laughs> I her breath it. because it just smells so good. I it can't. smells like her. Wait, what do you Jess, mean? you don't like the way your cat's breath smells? My cat. Wait, 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 wait hold on, hold on, take hold on a second. Fuck away from my hold face. Hold on. What, what's wrong? Wait, wait, hold on. What's that, wrong with dogs licking the face? Have good, like, act, like, like chemistry with your cat. Oh, me and my kitty, like, we she lays on my chest. We we love each other. Yeah. But I do not want. As she licks her own pussy, and then she wants to come and lick my yeah. face. Well, oh no, I'm yeah. I'm okay. But like, that's the thing. I know dog owners like Brad. Yes. You, I, you're, you would let your dog lick your own butthole, and then I don't know about face. my butthole. Like, I don't know about I, my butthole, <laughs> but like, yeah, like dog owners, you guys are so <laughs> personal. Like, you know, with my cat, yeah. like, you know, I, I just no, you know, I don't. And if someone else's dog wants to lick my face, I, t I take offense to that. Really? Yes. The dogs, they just like, they want to show you love. <laughs> I've trained my dogs to lick my face. See, but They're like, so but if Brad's random dog came up and licked your face, you'd be like, you would let it? No, because he's a big dog. Their, oh, their, do well, their I, tongues are like too big. Yeah. I like the little, small, delicate ones. Yeah, you saw, you saw, you, did you meet Entei out there? No, I saw them. I didn't he's see them. So yeah. cute. Yeah, they're, they're very cute. Dogs are amazing. What's, what, you can't. I love dog dogs. She's a cat I just person, don't want to be licked in the face. Makes it's sense. Makes sense. Thanks. I know. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> yeah. She's clearly a cat person. I'm a cat person. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I, I love know. cats, too. I love cats, too. Just, I hate just, their litter box, but I'm definitely a dog person. Yeah. yeah see, my, my cat's litter box is self-cleaning. You don't yeah, even know good, it's there. Good. It's a good So you one. don't want a pet is I what you're saying. That I I like my pets to be like self-sufficient. Like you know, like furniture that also like moves around. Exactly. It's like she's so pretty. She's so Yeah, that's what it's a fucking cat person. You know what? Honestly, like it's taught me a lot because like my it taught cat you that you don't want to have responsibility. Yes. That's no, if she doesn't to. want to be touched, <clears throat> you can't force her to touch you. Yeah. Like, you know, and with dogs, you can you kind of like they'll just let you do whatever. My cat yeah. will beat the shit out of me if I try to Depends. fuck with her and she doesn't want to be fucked with. My, like, my dog's a little Bam's a little interesting. She'll like do her own thing. Yeah, not all dogs are do like mean? that. For the yeah. most part they are though. Yeah. Have you dogs your whole life? Yeah. I, I always grew up with dogs. My mom uh, bred German Shepherds. So I've just, Ooh. and we also had like eight cats indoors <laughs> and outdoors. So I've always just had a bunch of animals. It's around. like a fucking farm. Like so a zoo. Yeah. Yeah. Would yeah. you get an animal kids, that's not a cat or a dog? I've always, I kind of thought about that. Like, what? You know, an animal that's not a cat or a dog. A like, I had a like snake, a goldfish, a bunny, I've a snake. Yeah, I've had hamsters, I've had bunnies, everything. and guinea pigs. But then yeah. you see people with like those little monkeys and stuff. Would you ever oh, do that? They're, no, because they're too much work. Yeah. I feel like I would. I'm so busy. It's just that's more than a child in my opinion. Yeah, no, Absolutely. monkeys are like children. Yeah, that's and yeah, scary. I wouldn't want to neglect it. I literally asked some guy. I was like, "What is it? Is this like having a dog?" He's like, "No, it's like having a child." Mm -hmm. And I was well, like, "Well, parrots are bad too." I think worse than a child. Like, like I think it's a lot more responsibility. Yeah. There's literally parrots. Like there's certain types of birds that if you have them by themselves, you don't talk to them. They get so depressed, they start plucking their own feathers, yeah. and it hurts them. What the them. fuck? We have and a mutual like, friend with They'll one. hurt themselves, they'll, like, genuinely, because yeah. they're not getting the attention they want, they'll pluck their own feathers. So it's like, parrots, you either have to have them have a companion, or genuinely talk to them I all want... the time and give them all that attention. They're, they're great, but, like, it's just, it's a lot. Yeah. With, with, like, you know, public perception, people like, oh, they labeled you, oh, you did porn, you did this. Um, do you ever ha see it, like, do you ever see it hard for yourself to move away from it or like, cause it kind of follows you no matter what. Are you not interested in moving away from it? Like, there's is it no a, point. <laughs> there's yeah. literally no point. I you just got to, it sounds like you got to the point where you're like, fuck it. Who gives yeah, a shit? Yeah. Yeah. I just, you know, it's out of my control, but there's literally no point. So I just give into it, you know? Yeah. What yeah. do you think? What do you think about the people who think like, Oh, you're this and you're that, like, what, what would you say to those people? <laughs> I don't think anything. I just let them think what they want to think. Yeah. Like I can't control. Like everyone's gonna have an opinion. Everyone's. It's the internet. Yeah. Everyone's gonna troll you. There's gonna be like negative, positive comments. It's just something you have to learn to live with and not let get to you as yeah. much as possible. And that's what I find so interesting because like even if you did everything, because I've had experience in the past with like just shit on the internet. It doesn't matter what you do. You're it's all, if you're putting yourself out there, someone's yeah. gonna be like, "Fuck you," no matter mm -hmm. what. Yeah. Or I love you no matter what. Yes. So. And I feel like I've been around for so long that I've had time to really adjust to it. And that's not saying that, you know, when I read some things that I don't actually, you know, like it's not, it's never nice, but I don't, 
I don't really let it bother. I, I mean, in some ways I do. It's always kind of back there. But I try not to let it bother me. Do you read comments often? Yeah. Well, she's on Twitch. So you, um, you get... I have mods, though. You got so, mods? So my mods, Good. for the most part, will get to the comments before I see them. Oh, nice. But, like, TikTok... Twitter is actually very nice. I would say TikTok is the meanest. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. God. TikTok and YouTube are the... They're, like, yeah. fucking assholes. I got, I, I'm confident. I got... So my account's taken down. And I'm... On com- TikTok? Yeah. And I'm confident it's because... And I, I say this because the comment's been deleted. So I think it was mass reported yep. and a bot took me down. But Tommy Unal did a TikTok with me, and I went through the comments, and there was like an overwhelming Who's amount. Who's Tommy? Who's this? Tommy? He's, a, he's a TikToker. Okay. But there was an overwhelming amount of comments calling me mid, which just, it's it's an insult. Oh, I mean, this is average. the fu- Yo. It's like everyone, yeah, everyone on Guys, the internet yeah. using it. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. It, Shut mean, up. I hate <laughs> the word. I hate the word. I'm so it, stupid. I'm seeing it everywhere. I'm so tired of this shit. Fuck this dumbass so shit. Annoying. Okay. Suck my dick. <laughs> Suck t- my dick. Yeah, suck her dick. We're tired of this shit. The mid shit's annoying. It was overwhelming. Like, like the comments had like that, like ten thousand likes, four thousand likes. It was very overwhelming. And so, like, I looked at it, and even though it's not nice, I was like, okay, if you can't beat them, join them. So, like, I commented and I wrote, "She's so mid," just like play, like playfully making yeah. fun of myself. And I'm confident I got my TikTok taken down for harassment. Because you said, it. oh my god, that. TikTok is wild for this shit. Are you I think permanently banned? Been a bot. Permanently banned I'm or permanent, just temporary? No, I'm permanently banned right now. I'm hoping I no, get it back. No, you're not going to be permanently banned from TikTok. No way. I am right now. Were you verified? No, it's oh. hard. It's hard for it's, it's hard. hard for somebody like me to get verified. Really? Very hard, on especially t- on TikTok. You there's have to follow of, so many guidelines. There's a lot of discrimination on social media. It's very difficult for anyone in the adult industry. But to also, get verified on TikTok. Yeah. The TikTok algorithm general. also, what? like, it doesn't protect its creators against, like, getting mass reported and, yeah. like, things like that. So and because you, I'm so well known, I'm going to get mass reported even if I'm not doing anything. Exactly. So it's very, but very wait, difficult. why are you not getting verified? I don't because get it. Because it's a discriminator- uh, discriminatory thing. They mm-hmm. don't want... They don't want OnlyFans girls. They don't want porn stars. They don't want... Hold on like a second. On this is crazy because all I see on TikTok is, like, fucking tits and shit and all this stuff anyways. I too, but I think a lot of it goes under the radar. My for you page is not like that. Mine's <laughs> like that. Okay, so I, that is the case, and some people I think are protected, but for somebody who's well known, you figured you'd be, be more protected harder. though. No, I have to. I have to like try and find um, people on the inside because I love TikTok and mm-hmm. I love social media, and I don't. I'm not like doing anything bad. I'm not promoting OnlyFans. I'm not trying to get away with things, but my brand as well. Like, is more, like, sexy, fun, playful, play, like, you know. Yeah. So but they allow it on for some creators. Like, yeah. so I see so some weird. people allowed to do it. It is it is very it's, interesting. It's like they just, I don't know, I don't, they just pick it's it. It's a bit discriminatory. Yeah. It is, but what, that's that's literally all social media. Is what, what, what's, what platform do you think you thrive the most on? Um... God, I would say I thrive on Instagram. I'm currently shadow banned. It just happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, Instagram, I really thrive on, but um, also Twitter. I really like. I really have a lot of fun with my Twitter. That's that one and Twitch are probably my favorite. Twitch is the most fun. Twitch is so very fun. fun. Yeah, streaming is so dope. Yeah, do you stream? I I went through periods where I did it. Um, and then I stopped and then I do it and then I stopped. I've yeah. never been really, really consistent, but it's something that I'd like to be consistent with. Yeah. I just, it's like, it's it, just fun and requires, but you it requires a, a lot of time. It's like you're playing games with friends, you know, yeah. that's like exactly you what people it's like. who could talk to you about the game and like, like keep you company. Yeah. Or like join the game with you, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're not alone. I love Twitch. That yeah. shit's so much fun. Yeah, it is. Do you, do you get like a ton of viewers when you do it? I don't know. I haven't seen um, your stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's my most popular porn por- platform at all it's very like a tight community like very niche um yeah. so when i when i was i think it would average between 1500 to 3000 but also for me it, it was like which is i mean good. that's amazing though it's good yeah it's really good it's good um for me it was always like so the way that it works like right now gr- like playing games isn't it i mean depending on who's playing the games though like if they're in a niche and they're an mmorpg player or whatever they're gonna kill it um but for somebody like me playing games isn't gonna uh bring me the views because i'm not actually like a good gamer i just do it for fun and i'm a yeah. variety streamer 
but that's the only reason I started streaming was so I can play games and stay productive at the same time instead of wasting days away. Yeah. So it's not really going to change. So you would have been a gamer regardless. I was a gamer regardless. Yeah. I was just spending way too much time on it. And I was like, well, what do I do to make this productive? Like yeah. to make it make monetize sense. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, monetize it. For exactly. Sure. Well, I know on Twitch, a lot of people just like legit, whether you're good at the game or not, they just want to interact and talk to you. They do. Like that's like like even IRL chats are some of the most popular things on Twitch, yeah, where it's just chatting. like that shit's dope. It's fun how much you, you do can really do, good at that. I've always thought about doing yeah. it. I just have that stupid like I made a Twitter right, and I haven't made one tweet nor told anyone I made a Twitter because like I don't want to deal with the first tweet getting zero views. You know, it's just yeah, who I, gives a fuck? I, I, but that's like my it's like a my own thing. You know, it's yeah, like I get it. one of those stupid things. Yeah, like I didn't post on Instagram for years because I was too scared that like post wouldn't get any likes like it's just so stupid yeah, like it it's starts somewhere. Yeah. yeah but then tiktok like i'll just post anything on there i don't give a shit and you'd crush on twitch though <laughs> it's like, you, you I don't would do care. really well on twitch well thanks yeah. maybe i'll maybe i'll think about I it i believe in you do you play Thank games you. do you want to do just chatting i would just want to talk i mean yeah. i would try i would like play a game for fun just to try it out but like i would i like to just you talk can, to just people chatting's more popular for girls for sure yeah definitely yeah, yeah. And like my TikTok, I, that's all I do. I just talk. Do you on you never play any like like one v one. You don't play like Call of Duty type shit. No, because I, I kind of want to challenge you. No, I'm, 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 <laughs> just I just have this innate. Mr. Just I want to challenge. No, no, no. okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Just... I mean, I played the campaign for the last Call of Duty. I really like the campaign, but PvP is just Damn. not what I'm good at. I get overwhelmed, and they come out of nowhere, and like. You, I spent all this time gathering all of this gear and sneaking around for like the first encounter to get killed. You know, I feel like it's hard to gain experience because everyone's so good so already. Good. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to keep keep playing and playing. I'm not and that playing. motivated because it's not fantasy. Yeah, I see. That's fair. Yeah. Damn. And I also I wanted to ask you. You came out with the flashlight, right? Mm -hmm. What was the process of making the flashlight? Oh my God, this is an amazing question. <laughs> no, no. I don't, I've never made a flashlight. Do they stick some, do they put some stuff up your thing and no, then okay, they fucking. No, okay, so the flashlight, the, they don't put it on the inside. What they do is they mold the outside. And that really is a mold. Um, and so like even before. Wait, so how do they mold? What do they do? How do they mold it? Um, so the, they have like a special guy who does it. Who's like done it before. <laughs> it really is like an art. They tell you that's the guy like he's done this before. This I swear. No, he is. <laughs> we were like talking about music and he's like down there painting it making sure all the lines are nice. But it's really funny because even beforehand, like they have a Hitachi and they're like, would you mind just using this? Cause it like makes the blood swell to your clit. So it makes your clit more plump. Uh, mm -hmm. prominent. And like what they do is they like make sure everything is like positioned all perfectly. And then they put the plaster on and i just sit there for a while and chill on my phone but it doesn't actually go inside because that would actually that would be a massive infection yeah, and yeah. That just sounds so it's really not the real so it's not the real inside no, what it's the real outside what everybody gets is their own personal texture so everybody's texture is different so my texture is unique to me that they sell okay so you pick the texture no i no they design it Okay. How do they do it? But they don't, there's no basing this off of actually inside of the vagina. Yeah. There's no basis. No. Okay. No. So it's all front end. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. But it does look like your vagina. Uh, it is. It's a mold of it. That's really cool. Yeah. I, I was curious how I, that worked. I found out that I have like a double looking butthole thing when I did the butt one. Wow. Where like, there's like a little dimple above my butthole. And I found that out from my butt flashlight. I was like, what? And then now I see it everywhere in all my photos. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So it's like what? Like a little, just it's, a. It's a little dimple. So like okay. in photos and stuff, it just creates like a little shadow and it looks like two buttholes. Double buttholes. Holy <laughs> shit. That's what she meant when she said double penetration. That's what she had no, two buttholes. No, I don't think yeah. that's what she meant. I don't think that's what she meant. Oh my God. Um, okay. So like. Ah, man. He's thinking about the flashlight now. Yeah, I'm <laughs> stuck on it. Do you like flashlights? Like, like, I've, I've tried it once. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? What yeah. did you like about it? Um, I guess I don't want to. How do I say? It's like I got to the end Is of the flashlight. Is it a lot of work? Oh, it's, and it's oh, uncomfortable. Oh, your dick was too big, Brad. Just relax. I'm not over here talking uh -huh. like this. Okay, yes. my You are talking listen, like that. Whatever. You I got to the end. No, it's not it's that. It's not. <laughs> Guys, just so you know, Brad like says he his big fat cock yeah. wouldn't fit inside. No, yeah. it fit. It just sure, got to Brad. the end. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Brad okay, stop like, it. Yep, I am stop. large. Stop. Stop. Okay, we've had enough. No, yeah, I got caught up on that. I was, no, I've tried it once. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It wasn't my thing. Yeah, it's not everybody's thing, but it is the number one, like, for male sex toys. It is the number one. I feel like men That's are the number one? 
I think so. Men are so limited with their sex toys, though. There's only so much they can do. Like, I we agree. We have everything. We have all the fun stuff. Yeah. I bought my first boyfriend a pocket pussy, and it wasn't like a flashlight. It was just like a mm-hmm. um, silicone cylinder and, kind of thing. And then he left you. Well, no. No. <laughs> no. Then we broke up, and then I hung out with him a couple years later, and he pulls it out of his glove compartment. No way. He still that, had it? He still had it, but that thing was in pieces. He, he, wore he that gave bitch it to out. every single one of his friends. They oh all tried God. it out. That's absolutely disgusting. Y'all are foul for that. But yeah, like they love that thing. So you should try a pocket pussy if not. No, that's the same. The it's probably light. worse for him because it's even smaller. Wait, I guess. What, yeah. Wait, what's the difference? Well, it's a, smaller, and there's it's no like, end. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, this one was just a cylinder, so like you could, you know, it just fit on your penis like a, you know your the cylinder. cool. You know the cool uh. thing about them too, because I feel like this is a lot of work. You can get like little machines that just do the work for you to where you put it on. Males. And it just does so it you're for talking you. about male sex toys. Yeah, male masturbators. I, but never, then how would that feel to turn your machine on to suck a dick? I know. <laughs> like, that's a lot. It's, it's <laughs> like the Hitachi. You turn it on, you're like, you can just lay back. Get nah, but mentally, TV. mentally, just the thought of me doing this is like, nah, it's you not it. You shouldn't be thinking about that mentally. You should be watching porn imagining that you're like, a chick is writing you. Yeah. I don't know. I just... Can you... When you masturbate, do you like imagine like women do? Like every time I masturbate, I imagine someone else is holding the little thingy, not me. But it works. Do you do that? I haven't masturbated in a very long time. Wow. Yeah. Really? Why? I have sex. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Good for you. How yeah, no, you? I'm dead serious. So like, you have enough sex to where I... Cause like, I actually stopped watching porn for like the last like six months. Yeah, you have enough sex to where you're like satisfied and yeah. you don't feel the need to. Oh. Exactly. And did you need porn to masturbate? Did I? But prior to that? Yeah. No, no. Oh, so, okay. you're, so yeah, your question about like, what, what, what am I thinking about? Yeah, like yeah. just what are you thinking about? Because like I'll masturbate to Ozark if that's what's on the TV. I don't need like... Really? Porn. But what? But what? Uh, wait, hold no, on. You know, wait, okay, wait. Not, I understand what part? This. Like the selling the drugs I, part? I, like, I what part are you masturbating this. to? I understand this. I You're don't. Not, she's not masturbating to o- Ozark. She's watching it, but she's just in like her body is doing the work and she's enjoying it. So she doesn't have to think about it because it's like a mechanical thing. Exactly. Hold on, hold on. I'm so confused because like, like all prior knowledge to this, like with women, is like stuff is more like emotional and attached and now you're saying you're completely detaching well, you're like you watching ozark yeah i have a toy i'm it completely attached but, but it's you're like more watching like, ozark i'm like, not what's... watching ozark but it's like when you watch porn you feel you're like pressured like i should be turned on right now this is gonna be the best orgasm ever but when you're watching ozark you're not like oh this is gonna be the best ever but then it is you end up squirting to fucking marty selling some, some yeah, drugs. Like, <laughs> what? like i don't know but I it's like you're any... not thinking about I'm it like that's why I love the Hitachi so much is I don't have to be turned on and I can have an orgasm in three minutes. Thank you. I yeah. could have Holy five shit. in five minutes. I'm not minutes. turned like, on. I'm not thinking about sex. I do the same and I just watch TV or movies and you just put it on. You're watching it and then you're like, oh, oh yeah. there it is. What the yeah. fuck? I think it's like watching and like I heard a good part and fast backwards a little bit just so I could catch it while I'm going. I guess it's just so different for dudes, I guess. It's more just like get it done. I guess you could compare it to like, you know, when people listen to like sounds to go to sleep, like you don't really need it, but it's just background noise. Yes. It's like one of those things. It's just background signs or whatever. Like you yeah. could be reading a book, but people just need something playing in the background for them to actually like enjoy like their drawing or whatever that is. So yeah. it's just background sounds. We have Agreed. a bunch of nerves down there. So if something's vibrating on it, something's going to happen. Exactly. But yeah. I also don't want to listen to the like I need. Yeah. I'm just picturing you laying in your bed just like. Just watching fucking Marty do some deals and you're like coming. It's just yeah, like exactly really, what it's throwing doing. me off. Exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> I fucking love those art. Holy shit. That's so amazing. So Are you into any like shows right now? Oh, oh. <laughs> the, oh I'm sorry. I answered your question. I'll let you. You know what? I'm go, not going to be. Go, rude. go. You're so excited. <laughs> no, I you feel have bad. To now. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, the Righteous Gemstones. Have you seen that shit? Never even heard of it. Holy fuck. It's some HBO like original shit. Okay. It's about like, uh, like, <laughs> like rich people who own this church who are like all this criminal shits going on you know like yeah. big pastors and like preach and all this stuff yeah it is hilarious though okay. you know who danny mcbride is no comedian yeah. this dude is so goddamn funny have you seen eastbound and down you never seen that no it's okay it's okay it doesn't matter <laughs> so it's just other shows that he's done yeah this dude's type of it's like uh it's kind of like will ferrell ish type comedy it's very like i think they let him improv they don't give him lines right like it they is let him so improv. fucking funny i'm okay. telling you watch this if you get a chance okay, okay. this is everyone I do watching really too like comedy this shit is great it's just my type of comedy yeah i don't know if it's everyone's i mean i know some people are like it's probably stupid but it's really fucking funny to me yeah and i just got done watching it and it's fucking hilarious 
hilarious. Are you, you sad that it's over? Yes. I fucking hate that feeling. But you always get a depression. It's so oh, sad. So much more. I'll but put like off the too, last episode so it doesn't yeah, have to be over. It's, too, it's like too soon to rewatch it as well because it's not going to be the same experience. Exactly. But the question was, what are you, what, I mean, it sounds like you're watching animes. That's just based on what I know. Of, you um, know? It's like, so I like, do watch anime, but my issue with anime is I... I feel like I have to watch it in Japanese a lot of the time because I feel like absolutely, it just, yeah, you have to though. It just that's how it was originally made, and it just sounds better and it's a better experience. I'm such a multitasker that a lot of the time I don't sit down and properly watch something. Oh, so yes. like then I'll get really really busy and I won't have a chance to sit down and watch it for like a week and then I forget about it. Oh, so you you just like disengage with it because because the other shit you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm incapable of sitting and just watching a TV show. Like yeah. I, you know, I'm on my phone scrolling through something in the background. I'm like, yeah. I'm but like, I heard I have everything to do this, they said. But <laughs> you, know? like, you did. I know though. exactly what's going on, but I also just watch this TikTok. So. <laughs> and you also masturbated. It's yeah. Like, yeah so you know. Like, what the fuck. <laughs> We multitask. You guys are like, I'm going to watch this show and then I'm going to go masturbate later. And then that's I'm exactly go right. That's you know? exactly right. I'm masturbating, watching TV. I answered an email and then I squirted and then Holy Marty fuck, sold some dude. drugs. You I'm know? fucking impressed. <laughs> yes. Women are fucking amazing. <laughs> that is fucking impressive. Exactly. I don't care who sees this shit. We that's the most impressive shit. Yes. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. That's a lot. Yeah, I couldn't wow. imagine I'm, I'm kind of ashamed of myself. You should be. Wow. No, it's such a better experience to actually sit down and like enjoy it properly. But <laughs> I, f- I feel like my experience is so good though. Like, no, you know, is, it's like, just like. I got this done. <laughs> I got that done. Yeah. yeah. She's it, trying to like, make feel, feel better. better. I feel better because I got it off my chest. She's trying to help me. I appreciate it. Anymore. I appreciate you trying to help make me feel better. I've, no, I you can't. should be doing no, more. It is. <laughs> God damn it. You're a lazy piece of shit oh, if you're not masturbating God. and doing something else at the same Holy time. Holy shit, so much. It's <laughs> a lot of responsibility. Fuck, man. Oh my God. <laughs> so our our so we gotta ask I gotta ask this question. Um are you or do you think chicks, I mean you can answer this too, because you know, the, the workout audience here, um, are more into guys who are like dad bod or fitness, you know, like in shape what do you think i think initially because my opinion it's not like somebody who's super muscular or in shape i think it's just like when you see somebody who's healthy like they look healthy and they look like they take care of themselves i think somebody who takes care of themselves is sexy yeah so i think initially it's a very pc answer yeah initially i think that that's definitely like a turn on and what most women will gravitate towards is a guy who looks like you know he's he's healthy it's also probably like somebody who's really fit and they have abs is probably like a sign of youth mm-hmm. you know um or like psychosis what do you mean psychosis? Like a little crazy oh because they're like feel they're the like, need to like i gotta be like this because yeah. i'm for sure a little crazy well absolutely yes i actually don't like big muscles Am I, would you consider me big muscles? Brad. Yes. Oh, Sorry. dang. Sorry. Damn. So no shot. <laughs> You're huh? very muscly. Mm. Yeah. But there, I like, there is a market for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll You're tell very you. Attractive. There's a market. Wow. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I promise I wasn't fishing for that. I appreciate that. Thank you. No, I don't. For some reason, I don't like big muscles. I just like like a healthy, they look athletic type of look. Um, and that's like what I typically, when I'm looking at, at somebody physically, that's what I go for. But then at the same time, it doesn't really matter. Like I, I like dad bods too. It, it just, yeah. it just depends. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for me, like I, for guys that I'm going to hook up with, sure. Like if they're super yes, sexy, I'll hook up with you. If you're going to just hook up with them. You're just looking for sex. Yeah. You're then for the athletic. Give Otherwise, me a 10. Otherwise, you don't give, give me a, a 10. But if okay, I'm going to so, well, date you, if I'm actually going to like let you into my life, okay. like you have, there's certain qualities you need to be met and like but, body but, goes on the back burner. Okay. Do you have a job and is it a good one? How much do money you, do you make? You see how this could fuck with guys mentally though? Because like your answers oh, really? right now. Yeah. Really? We both agreed. Really? Because He's you. Like, if we need to get laid, we need to go to the yeah. gym. It, no, no. Cause they, oh, because yeah. there's not a difference of women that you would wife versus fuck. That's not the biggest conversation in men ever. Oh, there's I'd fuck so her, but I wouldn't wife difference. her. Yeah, there is a difference. 100%. Yeah. And you know mm. it. Well, just you know, know you're in the fuckable you type, but I wouldn't wife. Because you're having a lot of sex. <laughs> <Fuck you. laughs> like, you're not wifing these bitches up. Sorry, mm. bitches. I mean, Damn. Not in a good way. <laughs> no, we we love the bitches. It's I an endearing bitches. term. Oh, amazing! It's okay. Amazing, yeah. Amazing. We all like sex. Okay, so 
Okay, I guess. Fuck, damn, you might be right. I mean, yeah, we do also. But it's just it fucks with people's preference. minds because then they're like, "Wait, you?" But that's saying if you're going to just fuck some dude, you're going for the dude who's like athletic in shape, right? And then you're saying, "But like, you, I mean, you'll unless, settle for the guy who's not." If I meet somebody and I'm like, "Oh my god, they're really cute and blah 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 and like like sexy in other ways," then I, I don't just care. But I'm saying like. Typically, like if you're just being very universal, if you just want to fuck, shape. you're gonna go for the hot guy, right? Not mm-hmm. and like that's not like the, oh, I met a guy and he was super nice and funny and we went back home. No, like I went out and I was looking for a really hot guy to hook up with. Like that's but see, so I'm saying, know? imagine you're the nice and funny guy who's like, wait a sec, so. Well, I mean, shit, I wasn't out looking for a good time and a good personality. I wanted a big dick and some hard abs, and there's yes! nothing wrong with that. And but the, okay, and a man, but then you guys are the same way. You guys will go out to the club and you're telling me the girl with the really nice personality in the corner you should have taken her home versus the girl with the really big boobs that's super pretty in front of you. Like, you guys do the same thing. I know. I was just trying we to catch the you same guys. Instincts. In this, so I was just trying to like. <laughs> I was just trying to like cause some shit, but I didn't work out. No, yeah, you caught me. You caught me. No. Red handed. Red handed. Listen, it's and it's and it's exactly the same. You're right because at the same time you see a girl like that, right? You're like talking about the big tits, the nice body. And yeah, maybe you're just like, you can do this thing, have maybe sex. Maybe you don't love her personality. Maybe you're like, I would never date you because like we don't vibe like that, yeah, but right. I want to fuck you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. And we feel that way about men, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> well. No. Not off the top of my head. Damn. You put me on Did the you spot. know who Brad was before you came onto this podcast? Just curious. Yes. Oh, okay. Nice. Let's How did go. Well, was. well, was it like? <laughs> did you did you look him up or like did you like a friend of a friend? Like what was like? How did you come across Bradley? Martin? Wait, what? This is like yeah. Okay. So Wait. Okay. If you what? Want to know? If you really not, it's not very flattering. Do you want to know? Oh damn! Wait, what's not very flattering? How I know of you? What? <laughs> I think you're super cool. I wasn't sure what to expect. Do you ever feel like people like collab with you guys because of that? Because you are so well known and they want to just like leech off of you a little bit. Hundred percent. That's why I'm here. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I love it. He's very well known. Let me come on his podcast. Actually, leech off of your fan base. Yeah, I want them to know about you. Yeah, absolutely. Either way. Yeah, that's that's like the point. Um, but even when people do it to me, like I don't get it. Like it's so fine. Like. That's the name of the game. I agree. Yeah. I don't, I've, I've never really seen anyone like where I thought it was like a big deal, but I can understand um, how like with friendships, it could get a little rocky. Like, why is this person my friend? Like, yeah. Have you ever, have like you ever had or... any weird situations where someone's like, you, you could tell they're there just for some sort of like clout or involvement? Like, um, I don't think so. Yeah. Cause like, I, I think that I have like a very, like I'm very in touch with, um, like I kind of can see through people very easily. Um, and I'm just very observant. And then I think I'm just like very genuine. So I attract very genuine people. So a lot what? of the time, like I, I attract like guys, I like having guy friends. I'll attract them cause they want to sleep with me, but I know that they just want to sleep with okay. me. But on my end, I'm okay. like, but I like you as a person. Wait a I'm second. I'm going to wait this out and never sleep with <clears throat> yeah, you. Yeah, as long as so, they can respect that. Okay, no, 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 no. Fuck all this nonsense. Yeah, no, fuck okay? you. We got to warm up to this shit. Now we're here. <laughs> Girls cannot have guy friends. Yeah, they you can. can't. You can. You just know they want to sleep with you. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Fine. Can you have guy friends if you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Yes. So you just got a ton of dudes. I'm sleeping with them. But you got a ton of dudes who are just like waiting. You, you, like, who are just waiting. The guy's supposed to be cool with that. Well, well if you waiting. wanted to fuck them, you would have fucked them before we yeah, started dating this person. Yeah, they're going about their lives. Yeah. You know, they're not waiting around for you to get out of a relationship or to have sex with them, but they're always hoping it'll happen. Yeah. So are they there to be your friend or are they there to have sex with you? They're though? there for both. Like, they enjoy your company, but they want to have sex with you. Wow. I don't know. So, okay, Danny. You like, you know Danny. He's my company. best friend. Do you not enjoy her company? No, I do. I what do. the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, and like, mm-hmm. Danny. Like, I've never, I would never fuck Danny. Would Danny you're fuck very, me? Yes. You're beautiful. You're Thank very you. fuckable. I appreciate like, that. I, <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm sure you would want to fuck her or you would if you could. All right, maybe you have. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But I'm no. saying you enjoy her company. Yeah. So it is a thing. But, and you also, you do not want to fuck me. I don't want to fuck her. Exactly. Not so you type. see how men can be friends with women without wanting to fuck them. I yeah. Exactly. There you go. Even, yeah. Even kind of. Yeah. Kind of. How? You I, are in a friendship with a woman that you do not want to have sex with. How is it not computing? But it's kind of, I mean, it's different though. It's like, because I also met you in a different situation where it's like, you know, you, one of one of my friends at the time, like 
I don't know. And then I feel like once they like get to know you and they like actually get to know your personality and they like vibe with it, like a little bit of the wanting to fuck you goes down. Absolutely. And it's like, do I think I I like they get to a point where even the man would probably probably not want to hook up with the girl because he doesn't want to ruin that friendship. That's how it is with Danny. That's fair. But I I just think like if I'm thinking like my girl has a ton of dudes who are her friends, I'm like, oh, this is like they're this is not they're just waiting they're waiting for it's me to fuck up. It's more of an insecurity, though. For sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure. It's I'm not saying it's not. No, no, I know. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And insecurities are normal. They're perfectly fine. We all have them. But that's what it is, is you're just like, oh, like, like maybe she's going to go on to this next guy or something like that. But in turn, would you want to be with a girl who no guy finds her attractive or wants to be with her? Yeah. Like that sought afterness is or, something to or talk a about. Girl and like, who attractive. like looked at you and said, you can't look at another woman. You can't have well, women friends, like things like that. You like you don't want somebody who kind of controls you. Like yeah, that. of course not. Yeah, I know. I understand that. So what were we talking about prior to this? Fuck. <laughs> I don't know, but I have a random question, too. Now. Yeah, I'm go gonna for hop it. In. So because you started in the porn industry and then you transitioned into like Twitch, YouTube, um, Instagram only fans um, do you plan on growing those platforms those social media platforms or do you plan on like venturing out starting your own business like what is it that you think is the next step business wise or for your pla- I was trying to, I was kind of asking that a little bit earlier I know yeah, yeah. I'm full blown into social media you love like it. that yeah I love it and that is my number one goal even with all the bullshit even with all the bullshit I love, I love it I love it's that. like done so much for me it's I love like it. and I'm genuinely like passionate about it I enjoy, I enjoy it I enjoy the attention um yeah I full blown want to grow all of my platforms and I I'm like the type of person where it's never enough because I could say I am successful like people can say that oh you've you've accomplished this you have this blah 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 it's never enough for me. I always want to keep growing. I love that. Yeah. I fully relate to that. It's mm-hmm. amazing. Social you absolutely media. relate to that. I have a problem with relating <laughs> a, to that. Yeah. Uh, it's a real problem that I have. <laughs> Do you ever feel like it's like that it is actually a problem for you? It like, is a problem because you don't look at like you don't look at it like achievements. Like you don't sit there and think, oh, man, I've done all this. It's like, no, it's not enough. It's I feel like this enough. is I feel like this is the video gamer in you because it's the video gamer in me is like it's like points. It's like you just want to keep going. I just want to keep going. Like it, like for you, I guess it's more like the loot, getting the loot. Oh my god! Like getting the gear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I need this. I need this like tier. Money, I need this. Like, money. I'm I'm like one of those people who search every last little thing so I can have as much <laughs> money and sell it as you, possible. Like I will be <laughs> over encumbered, and I will like I will go over encumbered for like 40 minutes to get back to a shop so, so can I sell can it. sell everything because I don't even the leave, bullshit. I can't leave it behind. Oh my god! You're one of those. Yeah, a fucking I farmer. Leave, yeah, I'm a farmer. Holy I cannot shit. leave it behind. It hurts me. I'm like, but no. That that's like so crazy. Coin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I think it is. Because I feel like that that kind of mentality. Because I grew up my whole life playing video games. Huge mm-hmm. gamer. Huge nerd. Yeah. It's like, it's like bled into my professional business life. Where it's like, I just want to keep going. Like, yeah. And it's all like, and I know ultimately like it. It kind of equals nothing at the end of the day, but it's just fun it's trying to get it. Mentality, yeah. right? Like you're you're working towards a goal. People say that video games aren't healthy, but I agree. You're working towards a goal, and it like fits into your core personality. No, yeah. There's actually a ton of studies showing that video games is actually healthy now. There's tons mm-hmm. of studies like actually rebuking that old shit, which is like it's not good for you. It's also a form of relaxing and like letting off steam. It's entertainment. We all need it. Unless you're like a really tryhard, because if you're super tryhard, try you're, like you're fucking super, sweating, yeah, you're, you're stressed super out. Stressed, yeah. <laughs> Fucking, you're like, God damn it. Yeah. It's not, it's a I'm little not different. I'm not hard. No. So, Mia, like, um, I guess adding on to that question as far as, like, you love social media, there's different forms that you're using it. You're doing it video, videos, photos, um, you know, video games. So, like, which one is your favorite form of content that you create? Favorite medium. Um, yeah. God, I don't have a favorite. And I love, like, I love to do everything. But I, I really like photo shoots. Like, I like putting out photos that I'm proud of. Like, even if it's just me and I think, holy shit, I look hot. Yeah. Um, I love to do that and I love to put it out. Um, I would probably say photos. Definitely photos. Yeah. When are we going to t- game together, Twitch together? <laughs> well, what games do you want to play? I'll play whatever you play. I'll just do it. I could play any game. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm, a f- I'm good at every game. Okay. Such a nerd. We'll find I am, some, we'll I am find really a good. fucking nerd. I I'm really probably going to play Elden Ring with my boyfriend. I just, I just pre-ordered that. Co-op. Yeah. It just came out. No, yeah, I pre-ordered it like a few days ago. Yeah. Now it's downloaded. I'm, I'm waiting for it's my PC. I'm getting a custom. Build. Do you play PC or do you play sticks? PC. Like PC Purely. all the way. I'll, I'll play sticks if it's something that is only exclusive to like PlayStation. 
Yeah. But otherwise, PC. I always, even if it's not as easy, I prefer the keyboard. Yeah. The keyboard. I mean, that's like the master race. That's for yeah. sure. It. That's it. Yeah. PC. <laughs> It's when it comes to that. I'm talking about. And you're obviously. This no, is not, I, love, yeah. I love you guys talking about it. Like you guys are so excited talking about it. It's really nice to see. I'm learning a lot. I'm a big time games. nerd. But no, like when it comes to when it comes to gaming, it's like everyone's like Xbox, PlayStation, and like people who play like PC. It's so limiting the controller. Yeah. And people are also like, it's just it, they made it into like a, you know, like because you're you can make a PC like way fucking better. Oh, no, I know way that. I know that. Graphics whore. Yeah. So like I want the best of the best graphics. Yeah. Like I just got this badass new monitor. Mm, it's How much alien. that shit cost? Because I know those bitches are expensive as fuck. I think it was two thousand. Oh, that's not that bad. No, I no, have no. a really expensive monitor. OK, which one is it? I got that stupid uh, uh, this like. Um, what's it called? The curved this, ones. The curved that was the one you're talking about. Yeah. They have. So I got this one, and the one that I really want comes out in a month. But it's like the newest um, Alienware, and it's a huge curved monitor. I got this one like for now, but it's also it, like once I get this curved monitor, it's OLED technology. Yeah. So it's like super. Like the picture is crisp. just like yeah, crisp. Deep, yeah. Um, that one's gonna move over to my Twitch chat. I see why men love you. Really? Like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, I'm like super engaged. Yes. I love this shit. The I gaming totally shit get is it. it. You know, because like I'm super into listening to you talk about it, but it's also not something I'm super passionate about, like video games. But I'm sure like the men that are very into video games, they're sitting here eating it. Aww. And <laughs> fantasy Because you and know all about it. Like, dope. you know technical things about it. You're I not mean, just. I mean, just what I learned, I'm not tech savvy at all. I typically have other people do all the tech. But you could tell you me. actually enjoy this shit. Oh, 100%. Yeah, that's yeah. very clear. Yeah. Super that's cool. the cool thing. Thank you. And I one thing you guys said about like um, how P people do PC versus Xbox stuff like that. Like I've played video games like, you know, my brother's Xbox once or twice and it lags, right? Like that lag happens and I get really pissed off. So I could imagine like someone like you guys who actually plays. It's really important to have like really fast software and stuff like that. So oh, that doesn't happen. So yeah. It ruins the you immersion it. otherwise. Yeah. That's what I thought. No, and I want that's expensive. Best. I want an experience. Like I want to. Because like I, I love role play, I want to actually role play and feel like I'm there. So I want the best of the best. Yeah, hell yeah. Have you done so, VR? Yeah, I've done VR. VR I do like and I have fun in it, but I always get like a little headachey and nauseous when I'm in Doing it for VR. too long. And I feel like it's very limiting because you have to like click and travel through it. Yeah. It's gonna get better. Yeah, it I, I better. think it's got a long way to go. Do you have VR? Yeah. Do you I have, have one? Yeah. I don't really like it that much. Yeah. I've never done it, but I've seen people like run into walls and shit. It's I've done it like four much. times. I'm like, this is not really done well enough yet. It's limiting and it's a bit much, right? Yeah. It's, 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 I don't know. I just so like PC. I'm huge you into do that. virtual reality and then do you watch porn on VR? Me? I don't watch porn on VR. Brad? No. <laughs> No, no I'm, like, I'm a cell phone. No, it's weird. I'm it's a, a weird. There's like a person. weird thing. Dude. I have a bunch of ads oh, like, up. Like, just, like it's crazy because it's like some people like it. So that's why I'm like, you guys are talking about video games. I don't know. Yeah, no, I have it. This is a question because I, I know that. Exists. Are you guys gonna join the metaverse? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, of I course. Think that, okay, so like, um, something I always fantasized about when I was much younger was like having like a virtual reality world where you could be whatever you could wanted to be. And this was when I was younger, before anything really ever exciting happened to so me. So you basically created the metaverse, is what you're telling us. <laughs> yeah, like in it. my Holy head, shit, to where amazing. you could have a job, you could have the best car, you could be super fucking hot, you could go have like fuck people. Like I, I just love. Like I would sit in this little fantasy for hours and hours At what and age? hours. Young, like what the fuck? Like maybe twelve or thirteen. Damn. Pretty young. You'd be a good writer, probably. No. Wait, no. you were thinking about I'm fucking reader, people then? Not Twelve. A writer. You were you thinking about. Imagination. Hold on. You think about fucking twelve or thirteen? You were thinking about fucking them. Hundred percent. Oh shit. Sure, okay. Be much before. Okay. That. God oh my damn. god, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to lose my virginity. Damn. Like I hated the thing. Like good riddance. Get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah it throw was that literally shit out. Like, good riddance. You're boring. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. how I was too. I was boring. like, it was more like I just I kind of want to do it. I want to know what this is like, mm -hmm. you know, and like. And I like like I said, it was all I thought about. Like I was very um just sexual. At a very early age, um, but yeah, I'm so excited for the metaverse. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, but it's kind of weird to me when I think about it. It's like, you know, like everyone talks about like how people are making money with like these like the sandbox stuff and like buying like real estate and all this weird shit. Mm -hmm. I don't get it because it's like you can just create another million. Like there's like there's endless possibilities. Like you can just. Well, it probably goes to like the popular ones. So if something is like really well done, you're going to want the best real estate in it. So when people pop in, they're going to be able to find you easily. Like not all these millions that they create are going to pop off. It's yeah, of course not. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, it's I just mean, that's how I understand it. 
Yeah. It's just kind of interesting because it's like, so the ones that are popular then are just, they're popular because popular people make them popular. Probably That's they're what just it seems well like. done and a lot of money and effort and smart people. But like, what's well what done? Because it's like, it. it's not a real thing, right? Well, well done would be like graphics, the application things of it. to do, and then even like events and like people that they get in there. You can, you can host events, parties, you can have yeah. like concerts, musicians. There's a lot of like. But that's what I'm saying. It seems to... like it's about popularity is what makes a, oh. an area popular. And probably. there's no cap on well done. I mean, there's always yeah. new and better coming out. So it'll probably be like everything else. It'll cycle through. You know, one will be popular for a minute and then the next one and yeah. then the next. And mm -hmm. such like a fucking else. crazy thing. Do you ever think it'll get to the point where it's like you're actually not like in it, but you know how we put the VR thing on? And it's like you're like, all right, I want this shit off my head where you get it on. You're like, oh, I never want to leave this thing. I think some people will get that way. Fuck. That's like what I used to dream That's about scary. when I was younger is like just being able to live in a fantasy world, like just put on like a, a headset and just I'm there. Well, it's did you know you can't be in it for more than 12 hours? What do you mean? Like your body physically can't handle you being inside of the metaverse under like the like having such a low heart rate and steady mm -hmm. heart rate. You know, I you're not know doing anything. You're not moving. You're sedentary. You can't like there will be stipulations on doing VR and being in the metaverse. But couldn't, I mean, your body you could just like it. put the thing on the clit and like that just. Is, that yeah, is you're right. And then I'll just get it up. And but then no. Ozark is on and you're in the VR and the thing and the, it's, just, it's all. I mean, there's things over stimulation. Can do, <laughs> like because you can fuck in the metaverse and then you can like you, um like I was talking about the masturbators that do it for you you mm -hmm. can like like connect that no i saw some glove fucking, thing you like actually a, have like, like the master damn yeah. that's gonna make things so complicated what if you're like man or your girlfriend cheats on you with someone yeah, in the fuck. Oh, on you in the yeah, yeah, yeah you're just they like will. fuck isn't <laughs> actually cheating metaverse cheating isn't real it's not real it's not real right no. it's but real is it real me? i'm no. insecure no. it's real to me not real it's real no, to me no this is the craziest thing it's this is like Fucking up the psyche of humans. <laughs> All this shit. At, Some at its people core, are it say is. It's real. Other people are gonna say it's not. But that's what this whole thing is like. It's actually fucking. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's gonna. I don't know if it's. It's for a lot of people. Obviously, it could be amazing. For a lot of people, I think it's gonna fucking wreak havoc on people's. I psyche. mean, from what you just said, I think people might die. Uh, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Oh it's no, like straight up. I know. Or what happens if I? Yo, what you if did I, what? I kill <laughs> your. I'll go kill your metaverse self, and then you you'll did, just be out here in life. You did like, what? It's like you cheated on me with who? Like, yeah. What? Uh, I fucking user nine one seven six. I metaverse. swear to God, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Imagine the different They're levels like of cheating. They're meeting up every day, doing their VR chats, like really getting to know each other. Oh, fuck. No That's big. when it's bad, no though. More. I'm never going to meet her in person. That's when it's worse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like so yeah. Just like oh my god it's like and but that's already happening now with like men getting on or women too getting yes. on like tinder and facebook but i mean it's just gonna be worse yeah i mean it okay so putting it that way yes if, there, if there's like a if it's if it's someone that they meet up with all the time and it's some sort of a relationship then it's that fun. is a form of cheating i agree yeah. yeah you know what don't get any vr attention but if are you like, kidding me if they're at a fucking strip club and there's like a hot stripper dancing on them and they want to put their vr dick in her that's fine <laughs> Fuck yeah, I like that. You know what? what? No, my man's Fuck keeping you. his VR dick in his VR pants. I like pants. that shit. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Maybe they no. visit the stripper once a month. I don't fucking know. Oh. You know, that's my favorite stripper. I fuck with that. I, I you know, yeah, I and that's, that. that is all personal preference. Yeah. Because <laughs> hell fucking no. I love that shit. <laughs> okay, and so then your girl, she can go fucking sit on some, some dick. Negative. In the, in the, that's exactly. That's negative. You yeah. fucking, <laughs> exactly. Not the same for the same for me. I don't know. So then, like so that. since you're into like fantasy and stuff, and there's a lot of like fantasy movies, like characters, like I don't know if you would want to refer to like Willy Wonka or Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, whatever it is, or a centaur in a movie. Like, what is a character in a movie? Since you're a movie buff, that you are extremely attracted to. Like, oh, that's a good like, question. What the fuck? fuck? Henry Cavill from The Witcher. Oh, that's f oh. Wait, I want to. And he's course. really buff. <laughs> yeah. So what the fuck? Wait a minute. I don't know. He just he has such a beautiful face, and he plays World of Warcraft. He's a nerd. Yeah. I Damn. Like oh yeah, he's fine. What about? Like, but you would let him like you like you'd want him to have to fuck you like as the Witcher or what? No. No, just as no, himself. No, Henry Cavill. Okay. Yeah, I, don't I mean, like, he's a famous. I don't famous actually actor. like role Superman. Playing. He played this. Yeah, I think I know. Who I haven't watched The Witcher, so I don't know his character. But he's like a he did a really good human job. Because I was playing The Witcher three. It was amazing. Yeah. Did you play it all? Yes. Did yes. you play the DLCs? 
No. I haven't gone no. to the DLCs. It took me 500 hours to go through the main storyline because... Why the fuck did it take you so long? Because I loved it so much, I didn't want it to end. So what I literally fuck? role-played and I took on every single quest that I what could. What the fuck? I know. That's crazy. I just I lived in that world out. for a Yo, while. Yo, you're wild. I lived in That's it. That's cool. I love that. Yeah. That's so actually really cool. And then The Witcher came out and I was like, Henry Cavill. No, that, that was actually a really dope series. It's my favorite game. Damn. Yeah. Wow. That's Do amazing. you have any like um cartoon characters that you think are hot? Me? Yeah. Ah, fuck. Because like I want to fuck the candlestick from um candlestick. Yeah. Lumiere? From Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. From Beauty and the Beast. Why? Wait, why the candlestick? I don't know. He was like, you I. Never, do, you talk about the candlestick with like little arms? Is yeah. Is this from like your childhood? Yeah. Oh, what's going exactly. on here? Let's he talk about it. Up, right? Yeah. He was very specific, and he was just so sister. he was so like you know confident. He was sexy. I don't know. I always, that was like a hot personality. Is he to like me. fucking you with the candle, but it's out? I don't know. I don't like, think I working? for in my in my <laughs> mind he has a giant candle dick. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. No, I, I haven't like actually envisioned fucking him, but I remember when I was younger, I would like watch the show and I was like attracted like, to him. What? What? How? how? I don't know. Oh, that motherfucker got swag. I can't he, even I, lie. I, he does. I that mother, no, look at his eyebrows. I, I, but like, it, 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 so how he talked and like, a, like talked to the characters. This I didn't is, think he was sexy. Guys, I thought his, his he was sexy. This is you know? Is Damn, he does have some swag. I can't even cap. That's I crazy. Know. This guy. It's a lady killer too right here. Too skinny for me. Too skinny. Yeah, he is skinny. Okay, Rad so like Jessica Rabbit, I bet. No, yeah. no, no. Oh, I've no. masturbated to She's Jessica so Rabbit. She's so fucking hot. That is how I knew I liked women. Um, I I liked, Little Mermaid. Oh, go ahead. No, no. I liked uh, Pocahontas. Really? Yeah. She's that beautiful. makes sense. That makes yeah. so much sense. Pocahontas. I've masturbated to all the Disney princesses. You know, that's a real story, and she was 15 years old and got fucked by an older man that was like, what? Yeah. Oh, it's mm -hmm. a sad story. No, what? It's kind of, it the is real story of Pocahontas is fucked they, up. They don't even know if there really was a John Smith. <laughs> Wait, that was all Yeah, Brad, you're disgusting. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm talking about Pocahontas, <laughs> the Disney yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pocahontas. What the fuck it's actually one happened? True look up, look up Pocahontas, the the history. Okay, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I mean, I, it's it's terrible what they did. In the well, it's not po like Pocahontas was just like on like a quest with a couple men and like had a great, fun, exciting time. She, yeah. yeah she didn't actually talk to the the wind. So we, you're telling me it's. Yeah, she oh, didn't shit, sing. Man. She didn't have a pet raccoon or a. So this bird. was a real person. They, they based a story guys, off of. Oh, God, stop. Yeah. Pocahontas please. is real. She is real and she's beautiful. She has a beautiful voice. It was a sad Thank story. Thank you. You're welcome. They're, making this, these are, they're trying to fucking. <laughs> it's okay. They're, mermaids are real. The Little Mermaid and okay. Sebastian. I actually Flander fully believe are mermaids real. are real. Like straight up, I fully believe that. So oh. don't lie I to me. No, I you are a hundred percent telling the truth right now. I, I fully believe it. that mermaids are real. Wow. <laughs> what the really? fuck? Why? You know what? She's like, no, no, no. I'm not judging because I think they could be. I no, mean, are you no, kidding? No, no. Do I, I think that they're just fucking big boobs and super sexy? No, but do I think that there are half human, half fish creatures in that live ocean? in the ocean? Do you know how deep the ocean is? It's huge. We don't know shit like about space. the ocean. We have it's barely. Crazy. I mean, I guess it's. I guess it's a possibility because like it's said that we evolved from the ocean, right? So it is a possible. But I don't know if it'd be like half human, half fish. I don't and know. I also said we have all logistics, monkeys, so honestly, but I do like, know that really that there is. It's out there. I know that. Would shit. you fuck one? Yes. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. That's always been my biggest, like, one of the biggest things I masturbate is to is mermaids and pirates. What the Yo, fuck? Mermaids are, Yo. mermaids are dope. Pirates are dope. Pirates. pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. So hot. Oh, Jack Caribbean? Sparrow. So Jack Sparrow. Oh. No, no, not oh. Jack Sparrow. Black sails. Like I want to fucking. Oh pirate. my god. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Oh, I love this shit. That was great. You got some good fucking questions over there. That's what I'm talking about, Natalie. That was amazing. Um, holy Have you guys shit. Ever seen that episode of Family Guy? It's like one of the funniest like clips for me. But basically, like I think Peter's stranded on an island and he encounters a mermaid, but the mermaid has a fish head and like a human like yes a, a human uh, a human like, body yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, wait. oh no i'm sorry it was lewis and she like she's like wait this isn't like my fantasy yeah. <laughs> oh my god man no I, I i can't think of any characters besides yeah pocahontas if i'm answering that question i'm thinking it's pocahontas got it yeah. so just okay that's i've fine. seen all of the disney princesses get down and dirty on porn sites what? Yeah, like oh, the, yeah. you can find like a really dirty double to any like PG rated thing on Those the internet. Dirty little sluts. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh yeah, like you no, can you, you could look up like Snow well, White sex like, scene and watch Snow White get fucked by the elves. Why do you know about this? So, Just curious. 
Cause I'm She's like, a pervert. <laughs> I love it. No, seriously. How do you know about this? Because I'm like interested in these things. Okay. Like, you know, it's, and it's the I'm internet. not judging you. you. I'm can, just curious. Well, if you like get into like the porn hub and you get deep enough. I oh, haven't got that fucking deep. crazy shit in there. You haven't got that deep. Where's your rabbit hole? Like, where did your rabbit hole end? I mean, you I know, don't. It, I'm not even gonna answer that question. Yeah. So you don't have <laughs> it. It hasn't gone that deep. <laughs> it hasn't though. gone you're that deep. You're talking about like go ahead. You're talking about the Disney princesses, like fucking on. <laughs> that's your, vanilla no, shit. like porn. Like how? That's deep. vanilla shit. <laughs> that's vanilla. That's Holy like whatever. Shit. But like how? Like like it's like something where you watch that and you were like that was disgusting. Because I've watched shit where I was like, why? Yeah. I'm foul for that. What's yeah. <laughs> wrong I'm with foul me? For that. I'm foul for that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. What, wait, what is that? But it's like though? I still masturbated to it, but then after I came, I was like, ooh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like, ooh. something's wait, what wrong is it, with though? me. Yeah. That was dirty. Will you answer that question, like what it is? I want you to answer it first. Oh, I want you to answer that. Because I don't think I've, I mean, I've felt where I'm like, uh. I answer that question. But, yeah, we want to get her to answer, right? That's, the, <laughs> no, that's like, like one of the only things I'm like, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. You won't answer that, huh? No. <laughs> I want you to answer I, it. I don't. I I'm mean, not going to yeah. answer that shit. You're not putting me in this corner. Well, I want to be the only one that hung out to dry, okay? You Do it. it up. <laughs> yes, yes, you, yes. You, yeah, yes, you, you brought it up. No, but it's the most willing as well to answer it. You are the most willing. You qualified yourself for this, just to be fair. I know I did it to myself. What is the thing? No, it was like, it's like, that's how I got the, like the rape fantasy and like oh, have fuck. the sex non-consent, okay. you know, it's like just getting like, you know, really aggressive and like, you know, like people getting raped and hurt and I don't want to get too far into it, but like, you know, there was weapons involved and things Holy like shit. that. So kind of like snuff, huh? Almost, but no, like, okay. cause I, 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 I was watching a YouTube video one time and they were talking about a snuff film and then I looked it up because I didn't know what snuff was. That shit is fucked up. If you can masturbate to that, I, what I'm going to kink shame a little bit. I don't bit. even know what snuff, snuff is. is like, it's, it's, you, it's like what? you, it's on the dark Sex web and then murder. It's like murder. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. No, I haven't whoa. Went there. Like they'll fuck her the and then they will, yeah, they will cut. There's a snuff there. video. That's how I found out about it. That was yeah. out on um tiktok and so like they'll you know she'll be they'll be having sex it looks like she's enjoying herself and then they literally cut her fucking head off what the like, fuck are you saw talking about it off. So it's murder stuff is like it's murder it's, it's like real, actual murder but, like, okay. there's also fake stuff where like yeah so no simulated. not snuff <laughs> not yeah. snuff yeah, no, we're talking about shit. that, that and fake like stuff, you know? exactly and the thing about like the porn that i enjoyed about it is like I, like you know that that girl like she wanted to be there like she was enjoying herself it was a, yeah, it was though it was a lot of women you mentioned this like before B, not yeah. all of them but a lot of women who be like do bdsm and do all these things like they're super fucking into it yes. not all of them but a lot of them are like they want to be hurt they want to yes. be degraded yes and the girl being into wow. it was what would turn me on like if it was somebody like you know being actually hurt like that's really scary like it was the fact that someone was being turned on by that and then it like started this whole spiral yeah, yeah. into that when you're like fuck how did i yeah, do yeah but then when i looked up that snuff but film like wasn't... that was terrifying okay it wasn't that though cuz that's yeah. like if you got yeah. off to that, we were, we're going to have we're a gonna conversation. We're going to have to kick shame a little yeah, bit because, no, com- that was terrifying. That okay. was absolutely horrible. I think one thing, I'm not embarrassed to say this. This isn't my deep, dark rabbit hole, but something I used to kind of, like, look up, and this was years ago. I've, like, I've had so many sexual experiences that, like, it like I'm done experimenting. But yeah. you know when you're younger, you're, like, trying to figure out what you like? For sure. One thing I used to kind of watch and be into would be like women who were sleeping or appeared to be passed out and getting fucked. And then that was like a fantasy of mine is to be sleeping and to have somebody like or a significant other. I I didn't want just random people, but significant other just like start fucking me while I'm sleeping. I've I've like like I, I wanted to take like I remember like I had a, because I had the fantasy like I was super and this was years ago I wouldn't do it anymore I was super interested in like taking a Xanax that would knock me out and then just fucking me and recording it so I could watch it in the morning holy shit <laughs> that's kind of dope <laughs> yeah doesn't wow, that kind of you... sound fun because yeah, it I is mean, consensual yeah like it's like how do you how would you even get into that like as a guy you'd have to say like hey i'm interested in this I, excuse me as a girl you'd have to tell the guy yeah, hey this 100%. is what i want yeah. right yeah. he can't just find out and be like here's some xanax <laughs> and then you're I like mean, wait i mean if they did and the girl was down i mean it all depends on how comfortable you i've heard i've partner. heard this before 100 percent. yeah i don't think it's that weird no i think it's pretty common mm-hmm Damn. Yeah. And I've, I've been in that situation too where like I wanted to be woken up with sex or like I would like want to go to sleep early so that they would want to fuck me. And then it, I like told them about wait, it. Oh, wait, wait. And it so, got me in trouble though because then wait. every morning they try to like, wake me up and there was a dick in, yeah. in me. And I'm just like, dude, it was like hot 
once in a while yeah <laughs> you know yeah. it's you, too yeah. much but the it's thing f- is is you don't want just and you don't want a random stranger to do it you want somebody that you know you want to fuck and whose dick you like exactly to, be to do it exactly you know? you're like you can violate me i and want that exactly and you're like yeah. waking up you want to wake up to it that's yes so, but like it that's a men who are watching on that's an advanced don't, technique don't experiment I, advanced with, technique. <laughs> I still like this so this is like one of the things that i do yes, like thank you is I like being choked until I pass out. Because then you go somewhere. You go somewhere when you pass out. Where do you go? I don't know. You're fucking out. You You go asleep. Yes, you go to sleep. You're clocked out. And then you start to come to when you wake up. And you're kind of like confused. And then you're being fucked really hard. And you kind of wake up. It's like, oh my God, I'm getting fucked really hard. That's never happened to me. That's really hot. Like the... The sensation of like on the verge of you're, like losing and you're breath, very also orgasming simultaneously. Well, yeah, I, I have to yeah. hold my breath to orgasm. That's that's um, arousal asphyxiation. I have to do that mm-hmm. to come, but like that's different than passing out. I I didn't know oh, that happened. I like passing out, but Whoa. there's like a certain Holy way you can fuck. do it. So if a guy doesn't know what he's doing, he's just strangling you, and it hurts. <laughs> if if he knows what he's doing, you're Pressure. out within ten seconds. Yeah, on the outside. I think the way like it works best in doggy when your head is really okay, up. Show me like how to do this. this. I, I've never made somebody pass out. I'm just saying for me, okay. like if someone tries to do it in missionary, I just get strangled. <laughs> but like, so they're wrapping around in doggy. From the back. Okay. Yeah, you can't do it too hard in missionary. From from doggy and then my head gets pulled up and it's... <laughs> I'm drinking myself. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't uh, know how they do it, but it's amazing. Okay. That was like the definitely the technique. You took notes, Brad? That's really yeah, interesting. I figured it out. I did, not, I did not know that was a kink. Wait, That's really interesting. So what's your kink, Jess? and brad what's your kink in bed mm. go ahead brad what's something you enjoy? i don't know if it's like a, oh we talked about this yeah, earlier we did talk about it so you can um talk about it. it's fucked up because it's kind of like along the same lines or like almost just like a little forceful like a little aggressive mm-hmm. it's um, hot guys it's hot if it's you know like when the girl like but it's, it's consensual okay yeah no no to be consensual. <laughs> you went to grab for something no here. no when a girl's doing this so <laughs> when the girl's like kind of going like this and like kind of pushing you off a little bit i like to like yeah. grab her mm. and like like Gra- you start wrestling, right? Well, I like to it's like, like kind of foreplay. Yeah, well, no, we're fucking. I'm hitting it from the back, oh, okay. and she's like trying to push, kind of push me off because like it's a, like too yeah. too f- hard or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I and like then to- that just makes you want to go harder. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I like that, which I think is hot too. And if I grab I'm being honest. and you grab the arm, and you like push yeah. it, pin it on her back. Yeah. And you like push her when up it, her back. When down. it gets too much, I'll like start to push off, and they're like, "No, take it," and you're just like, "Fuck, okay, I'll yeah, take exa- it." Okay, yeah, exactly. Okay, so that's what I like. That's a hundred percent what I like. I'm gonna fucking take this. <laughs> yeah, but I like I that takes a certain person for me. Like I yeah. will not if yeah that I'm not just gonna get pounded by some fucking random dude. Like you know, it has to be somebody that you want to fuck. It's it's a consensual thing. You're turning on by totally. them well hopefully yeah. you're having sex with someone that you want to fuck yeah exactly. oh no of course but it's like there's I mean, that's a, just there's let's clear that up I, like, I think what we're trying to throw me off right now because i'm like I hopefully think that we're trying to deter like sexual <laughs> harassment like not okay. like don't just go around sexually harassing women make sure it's consensual. i got it i got exactly. it exactly yeah. yeah you know like i'm i guess on a hookup you know on like your first hookup date like if she reaches her hand back and she's like ow you know like probably don't no, 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 I, I yeah. wouldn't do that. I, know, I wouldn't I know. do that. Yeah. that. That's what I'm just trying to make that clear because, you know, there are some young men watching and they oh, might yeah. get the wrong idea. Okay, okay, so perfect. Sorry. I didn't <laughs> think of that. There's a lot of things that you don't just do, <laughs> exactly. like during sex, before you actually know somebody. Exactly. They're like, you don't just start choking them, like, yeah. randomly. Like, this is, yeah. a, this is a first date and you're going to, like, choke her and try to make her pass out and you're spanking. You don't do that exactly. shit. You wait until you have the conversation. I'm, I'm actually really glad you said this because yeah. I didn't preface any of that. Yeah. And I'm really glad you brought that <laughs> That's up. That's why I keep circling back to if it's the right person that you're with. Because yes. it's like for everyone watching, you're not just going to like the next girl you hook up yeah. with. You're not going to make her, her pass out. And like, yeah. <laughs> like, don't. Fuck. So Jess, what is your kink? Yeah. Mm, I don't. You have to have one. You got really? one. Don't well, play yeah, games. Okay, I do, ass, but it's not like, like really in the bedroom. I have like, it's not really like in the bedroom. It's pregame then, it sounds like. Well, yeah, but it's like, no, like I, I like rich guys and I like men to spend money on me so it's like that makes me want to fuck you really like wow a lot. i feel like she did this to get someone to slide in her dms right now you i feel will? like that's i did it no but i i actually am talking to someone but um 
No, I, I, that is something that really turns me on. And I've talked about it before and I'm not like ashamed of it. You like, mean yeah, straight up this. I am, yeah, on. and like people like Gold Digger and it's like, yup. Yeah, like I, I, gold I think I like it's it. super sexy when a guy is super fucking rich, treats me really well. Like I will want to fuck the shit out of you. You know, I, like, I respect that. And that and financial domination is a kink. Like, you know, like it, it 100% I bet is. you're wandering around with all these rich dudes doing really fucking cool shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like my ex, like he was a he was a fucking asshole. He's a crazy person, but mm-hmm. he was really rich and he treated me really good and we did really fun shit. Mm-hmm. And it was worth it for me to stick around for those experiences and being like, you know, spoiled. Like that was what was really attractive to me. And I still look for that and I want to be treated that way. Yeah. I like whatever and I, I'm not ashamed of that. You like so. what you oh, like. See the I, gold digger comments. But yeah, no, I, I think that's hot. Like a guy who like treats me really good and like, you know. That could it could could a guy treat you really good if it wasn't financial though? That's my kink though. Is like yeah, yeah so money, like they definitely well, could. Yeah, but that's your kink. Exactly, and yeah. I don't come from that lifestyle at all. So I think that's probably it too. Like it's like a fantasy. Like she says, like I saw those like the girls getting taken on the private jets and shit on like on movies. I never thought that would be me, you know? Yeah. And now like I'm here and like, I actually do get invited on private jets and shit. And you're that's like, fucking, <laughs> like, that's, that's dope. crazy. Yeah. Let's go. You know? And like, I just didn't even know, like I didn't know that was a real lifestyle. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then you're probably like spoiled. Cause now you've been taken to the dark side. Exactly. You're like that's yeah. what I want. Exactly. But it's like, I also needed the guy to be young. I don't want. I don't want a sugar daddy. I want like a young hot rich yeah, guy. <laughs> that's asking for a fucking lot. It's not because I found one. Damn. <laughs> yes. That's not. Congratulations! For a congratulations! Lot. No. There's so many young rich. What, what does guys. he do? Who the hell knows? He's yeah. got lots of businesses. He's buying an island. That's oh, amazing. Holy shit. What's the coolest thing that you've done with somebody like with this fetish? Like, what's the coolest thing somebody's done for you in the coolest experience? That's a good question. I so I got to go with um, a couple of really I don't want to say like the celebrities names but yeah. uh, like some musicians mm-hmm. I got to go to Decadence Music Festival and like this guy I had met him one time like we met for one night he pulled out one of those giant microphone vibrators and used it on me and I was like you're fucking dope he's actually dating one of the hottest girls in the world now I'm not gonna expose it but like yeah you know he's really cool guy and he I ended feel up like taking I know me. who it is go ahead uh, I'll show you him after you might know because I, I I know of somebody like that who like is, is supposedly really good in bed and like loves anal. I didn't do anal with him. Wait, but he did try I got to do so anal. many questions. <laughs> like. he, goes, he went to zoo. He goes to zoo. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. And so he, but he took me to decadence. I went. I was with like Machine Gun Kelly was there. Young Pinch. I stayed in the Airbnb with. Fuck them. MGK, like, by the way. I know. Whatever. whatever. I don't care. I'm but over. it was. Go it ahead. was the. It was a really dope experience. Like I, I got everything paid for. I was at a music festival at like a table. Did you, you know meet him at table? zoo? No. Okay. No, Does but I, when I zoo? saw him at zoo years later, I wanted to shit myself. I left. I ran out the back door. What is zoo? My gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. No oh, worries. I own a gym. It's right down the street. It's called Zoo Culture. We're moving cool. it. It's such a cool gym. Guys. We're we're It's fine. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's okay. We're moving it to a bigger location. Okay. I'm just glad you brought it up now, and we can talk about it. Yeah, we move to a bigger location, closer Let's to the four go. or five. Uh, in Encino, it's gonna be like double the size, more more everything. So it's gonna nice. be yeah. I'll, you'll have to come. You can come by this one. It's very but, far away from West Hollywood. I'm very lazy about like traveling. No, you can just go gym. right up to 405. Boom, right there. Do you have personal trainers? No, but I got you. I'll help you. You need personal trainers. We, That's like my favorite thing about Dog Pound is the fact that you can book a trainer. Oh God, you just had to. You just had to bring it up. And and complimentary water and sports drinks. Wow, yeah. We have complimentary compliments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a little blunt human. <laughs> it's all good, I don't care. I don't care, I love it. No, I, I think it's, that with your new gym, though, like, you know, you, it'll be really nice. And I think that you should do some cooler shit. Maybe, like, more than two bathroom stalls. Well, we didn't have enough space. I, mean, I, know. I don't know why you're trying to dog me on that. I'm right not now, dogging like, you. Really that's what I'm saying. Your new gym is going to be so cool. You expected, right? Yeah, and no, when you I first. Learn as you go. Yes, when I first opened the gym, I was actually very afraid. I didn't think it was going to do well. Like, I thought it was going to do well, but I didn't think it was going to do as well as when I was like, because originally I was doing it just for content for myself. And then when I opened it to the public, I didn't think like, oh, this is going to like. Wait, Zoo was personal gym at first? Zoo. So I got kicked. The reason why I was opening Zoo was I got kicked out of gyms left and right because I was filming dumb fucking Mm -hmm. content, like doing stuff I'm not supposed to. And content wasn't as as on the come up. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as accepted. You can't go film content in like most gyms Mm -hmm. and like without waivers and all the shit yeah. to be signed. And 
So I was like, okay, I'm getting popular on social media. I need a space where I can film content. And I made a space for content. And then before I was opening up to people, like my initial thought is I'm on the internet forever. How do I know if this is going to convert? People are even going to give a fuck about this. Mm -hmm. And then, and then obviously it took off, but I didn't plan for it to be like, you know, it was just a space. Thing. Yeah. You and then it, and then so it evolved. With that. That's super cool. Cause that's yeah. even your brand is fitness. Yeah. It, it evolved. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah. now it's like, now I'm like, f like, trust me for the last like three years, I've been like, fuck, we outgrew the fuck out of this place. And yeah. you know, now we got to move. No, that it, was, so. I, I wasn't trying to talk shit. That's literally my only complaint about zoo was the bathroom. And yeah. it's just cause there's big stinky men who with stink it up. With your new gym. I'm, and I'm not saying like, I'm not, I'm not saying talking shit. I've just noticed these are things that I really, really appreciate is having complimentary water and sports drinks <laughs> and trainers available. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like there, a, so you know. what we're probably going to do with the existing gym space, the zoo, because I'm, I'm getting all brand new equipment for the new one. The existing gym space is going to be a trainer only gym. So we're oh, going to have trainers wow. who are who, who cool. are only. So yeah. It's all like just personal training. Exactly. Whoa. No, nice. no members, nothing, just trainers. Yeah. That's and then cool. so I'll probably start that project. What's that? I said, that's cool. Yeah. I'll probably start that project and then try to probably recreate those spaces in the future and yeah. then have them independent of like the actual zoo culture gym yeah that's a good idea that's yeah. really cool I and like that's it. that's the thing about zoo though it's like it's not like you're going there for the most high class equipment you're going for there for the vibes like you get a good workout and because of the people the vibes there yeah. Dude, you, you being there the right? energy oh like, yeah we got okay. amazing equipment yeah yeah i was gonna say you have you have but like, high, like high yeah, i spent yeah. fucking four hundred seventy five thousand yeah. dollars on that but shit. it's not like if you look at like fucking equinox and shit like they've got all like the free waters and the towels yeah, and the locker it, service and stuff and it's like that's an experience but then zoo's another experience where like you get a great workout in like the people there are fucking sick you meet the coolest people i've ever met in my life i met at zoo like yeah. you know so it's much more than like a gym and stuff like that community yeah it's amazing yeah. it's it's incredible i'm grateful as fuck for it and we're this year we're focusing on building that that's like the main one of the main focuses obviously besides raw gear which is fucking my baby i just want to say that Zoo oh, culture is too. Yeah. Zoo culture is my baby. Raw gear is my. I have two Actual kids. Baby. One is a little bit older. Yeah. Yeah. One's a little. Yeah, but let's do some audience questions. Wait, can I have water? Yeah, it's complimentary. <laughs> wow, see so you're learning. Yeah, it's complimentary. We actually <laughs> have a trainer. Have to start somewhere. No, we have a trainer out back. If you needed, you want to get some like air squats or like. I think you're oh, No, it's uh Isaiah. <laughs> I worked out yeah. this morning. It was difficult. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Just in case the podcast has complimentary trainers and yeah. water. Noise. Wait, I had one more question. So sorry. <laughs> Have you ever been offered? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Have you ever been offered a large amount of money just to have sex? Yes. What's the largest amount of money you've been offered? 20,000. Fuck. Can I ask if you took it? Is it legal for uh, me? I, <laughs> it's kind uh, of an illegal thing. Uh, <laughs> it's illegal ever. I get rub and tugs. That's illegal though too, huh? Okay. Look, fine. I took it. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it. Let's go. He, no. was, he was hot. He was rich. Famous, I was like, I would fuck and he you was just for like, free. And he was just, but he just wanted, he just wanted but he to pay. He opened with wanting to pay. Yes. So I was Damn. like, okay. Yeah. That's and I, it was like one of those things that's, where that's I would fuck him for free. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That's fucking dope. I love that. All right. So we're going to do the audience questions now. Um, we saw at the end of every podcast, basically, we have people ask us tons of fucking questions. She'll pick them and then we all answer them. Oh. What the fuck is it? Oh Yo, let's just God. answer these fucking questions, all right? <laughs> run, us, run us some of those questions. All right. So once again, if you guys want to submit your questions, go to askrawtalk at gmail.com. Submit them there, run and we'll read them off on the pod. This question says, what's up? I have a question. I'm a 27-year-old virgin. And do you recommend me losing my virginity to an escort? No possibility of losing it anytime soon. Yes. No girlfriend or anything. Escort. Yeah. Go, yeah. go, go get your fucking dick go put get your it wet dick in go a get hooker. your dick <laughs> get it yeah, wet go go put your dick in a hooker yeah get it wet yeah like, get it started man run yeah, these get run it, it up you know? if you can't if there's no possibility of it in the future just go fucking do it absolutely and the anxiety i mean you've waited 27 years it sounds like no you're pretty anxious gonna, about it no girl's gonna want to fuck a 27 year old virgin yeah yeah get get it in bro so, get your so if you do I, find I, a girl I, lie at least i i know no straight up i lie. i encourage this i say not the lying but yeah get your dick wet let's do it absolutely next question that was an easy one this says, is it okay to ask a girl if she's ever had an abortion ever before in her life? This what? is an important question. <laughs> Wait, yes. 
Is it okay <laughs> to ask a girl? So, so a guy's asking, a assuming it's a guy, he's asking, is it okay to ask a girl if she's ever had an abortion in her life? I mean, if you had a cause, obviously, to ask the question, yeah, ask the question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. it's just a question. Why not? I mean, it's not really a first date thing. Yeah, yeah it's like, oh. what's your name? Have you had an abortion? <laughs> yeah. like, how does this we go? Can't, sorry, we can't hang. Yeah, they start like, like a really, babies. really random question. A super I guess. fucking random. This guy's like a very specific. I want to know why he wants to know. <laughs> I, don't think he, I think he's probably, like, my opinion is he's probably really religious and he thinks that it's like murdering a baby and probably wouldn't vibe with it. That's, That's a good assumption. Opinion. So then it's, and then ask whatever question you think is important you know yeah I mean, straight yeah. up when I, if it's important to but you. also it's not okay to shame them if you don't like their answer no, it's not so yeah but ask the question dude simple that's a weird question it is weird. that was a question though okay and then this one I says um hey i lost my mom to suicide at 14 years old my dad left at three after growing up with an abusive stepfather wow. and dealing with depression for as long as i can remember i've disassociated for the last decade and now i'm about to graduate college and have a job at the biggest firm in town i hate it do you have any advice for someone with childhood traumas trying to find themselves after years of disassociating? Get, Get therapy. Therapist. Get well, therapy. And also, you sound like a fucking soldier, bro. Yeah. Like, it sounds like whatever the fuck you've been through, like, your story is actually crazy, and you've made it very fucking far. And it sounds like, you know, maybe where you're at now is, like, maybe not exactly how you want it to be, but you've, you've accomplished some shit. So, like... The thing Number with childhood one. trauma is I feel like it's always going to be there with you, but there's ways that you need to learn the tools to manage it. Of course, coping and, you, and mechanisms. And a lot of people need help. Like, yeah. they, they need somebody to give them the tools. It's very difficult to, like, just discover them on your own because you're 100%. so close to the situation. 100 fucking percent. And it also I went feels, to tons of therapy. Yeah, when you, and when you talk about that trauma and, like, your feelings about it, it feels good to have someone sitting there listening and validating those feelings. Like, you know, you yourself know this is how I feel about it, but when someone else says, yeah, that's a natural feeling, you're allowed to feel that way, yeah. you feel a lot more comfortable in your emotions. And I like he's a man correct yeah it can be hard to experience emotions as a man you know completely Especially fucking okay man yeah. like Absolutely. 100 percent. if you don't have people close in your life that you could talk to and like hold them in like that that type of way go get a therapist that is like not gonna judge you obviously because like there's nothing to judge but don't be afraid to talk about how you feel straight up it's, it's so Absolutely. fucking important i think it's important to have both though because you can have friends and family who are there for you but you want an actual professional who's going to help you dive yeah deep into so for sure true. i mean it's different yeah. if you talk to friends obviously you could trust friends you could talk to them but they may give you a little bit of a biased thing mm -hmm. yeah. talk to someone outside but like dude don't be afraid to talk about it that is so fucking important like i went to tons of therapy i dealt with a bunch of shit in my childhood and this is not relating it or saying it's better or worse but do not be afraid to talk to someone about it. Do not be afraid to ask questions. Do not be afraid to like just dive inside yourself because it's mm -hmm. fucking hard and it's scary. And it's like, impossible it, to dissect those feelings yourself. Yeah. And if you don't do it, like the sooner you do it, the better. Mm -hmm. Straight up. The sooner yeah. you go after it, the better. The so, more like healthy of a human you're going to be. Oh. Yeah. Fully support going to therapy. Call your I insurance company and that's how you do it. Call your insurance company and then have them send you a list of prescribers and then you can call them. A lot of people don't even know how to get a therapist. Yeah. If you can get it through it. insurance like that? You All you have to do is call your insurance company and say, hey, can I have a list of providers that take my insurance that are therapists? And they will send you a provider list. Every insurance company has one. Boom. And they'll send you a whole list of providers and you just call whatever one. And you can even research them and see what the reviews are like. That's what I do on Google. Yeah. Type their and name in. And insurance will pay for it? Yeah, well, that's why you're calling your insurance company. You're saying what ones are on your provider list? What ones do you guys work right, with and right, cover? Right. And then you'll know that they're in your network is what it's called. And then it's covered by insurance. And you can like go through and pick one one you like. Yeah. Fully fucking support going to therapy. So Okay, so this one kind of like aligns with going to a therapist. It says, I'm currently studying psychology and I'm curious how beneficial has going to therapy helped you in the short term and how do you think it will impact you in the long term? Any key differences that stand out from before and post current therapy? Thank you so much. Big fan. Will forever support. Oh. Um. Yeah, so like f with therapy for me at first, if I'm just do I'll be can I be honest about it, I I felt right away when I was going to therapy um, that like I don't know the person was almost just telling me what it sound like like I knew that they would say based on what I thought about my life, and I was very resistant to anything that the therapist was saying. I remember this very early on, and it took me a while to get really comfortable. And just realizing, like, I didn't have to, like, fight back against, you know, 
what I thought it was going to be. And it's just me. I'm super like over analytical and over like looking at the situation. I just felt like I, I went enough till I got to the point where I was able to surrender to be like, okay, I'm just going to listen and not try to make it, you know, well, what about this? And what about that? Cause that's the, the key when it comes to therapy is like, just saying how you feel. Right. And then allowing someone to just give you a perspective without you like attaching things to it that are like, you know, going to kind of distort the purpose of it. Cause I would do that for like years. I remember I was just like, no, and I would hear it. And I'd be like, I would just so fucking resistant to any sort of advice. And then when I finally was allowing myself to slowly take some of the advice or take some of like, you know, like I'll give you guys something personal, something simple. Like my therapist would always say like, write down, you know, these things, you know, when you think of them, the things, you know, in relationship to my father, um, how it made me feel about myself. Like as I was mm -hmm. a younger, uh, you know, as I was younger versus to how I am now and how I would relate to like these like feelings that I would have when they would come up. And I avoided it for so long, for so long I avoided it. And then still I did it and I was like, I did it for probably like two months. And then I was like, fuck, this is exactly what I needed. Yeah, and yeah. I avoided it for so fucking long until I finally was just like, all right, I just surrender to it. And then it, yeah. it started to change my life. Cause you're not able to get over something if you keep avoiding it, it's gonna always be there. You have to face it and then you can actually deal with it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I avoided the shit out of that. But. And also, like, not lying to your therapist. It sounds like, like, that's a big thing I used to do. Like, I went to therapy for having an eating disorder. And I'd be like, no, I don't have one. Nope, I don't have an eating disorder. And I, like, did the whole time. And I, like, could have gotten actual help, but I was telling her stories and things that weren't true because I didn't want her to judge me and I didn't want her to have a weird perception of me. Like, you, you get this weird feeling in therapy where you don't want your therapist to think you're a bad person or think there's something up. wrong with you exactly so i would just lie and then when i finally got to the point where i was like okay i just probably should just yeah, you gotta honest. surrender yeah you gotta surrender that's the key and it, it's hard sometimes because it's like like your identity is built up on like these things or your reactions to it it's like you try not to just be open to things but the minute you can really surrender to things is like it it gives you that different perspective because your perspective when you're resistant to something is going to stay kind of one way. But once you can surrender, then you could see the other side of it. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that was so powerful for me when I was like, okay, let me like forget about, you know, my relationship and my, I think in my mind, I'm like my father, he left me, he took his life because I wasn't good enough. Right. But then I realized like, wait, like my father had his whole own life that I, you know, I'm completely unaware of because I'm not in it. I didn't mm -hmm. live his life. I didn't walk in his shoes. But I was so resistant to like seeing the other side until like I just fucking surrendered to like, okay, I have to, I have to just try to, to be okay. You know? Yeah. So yeah. Anyways, sorry. That was a long sorry. one. Sorry. Yeah. We love to hear about your dad, by the way. It's like everyone's favorite thing to listen about. I appreciate it. So don't you. apologize. Yeah. Okay. So this one says, Hey, my name's Dante. I'm a fan of the podcast and the content in general. My questions for Brad and the guests. If the earth became too polluted, the ozone layer ran away. <laughs> oh, shit. People became zombie like, and you could bring three items oh, and one person with you on an escape pod. What will the items be? And who would you bring with you? And why this guy fucking writes TV shows, man. Yes. Who the fuck is this guy? Okay, this so guy's this amazing. You we should email him so, back. No, yeah, they said everyone. fuck you. They said fuck no, me. No, but now, now I'm curious what you guys want to hear because I, I know. So it's for everyone. The space. Okay, so, wait. Yes. Yeah, so Where it's basically. Where are you gonna get this water? Where okay, are you gonna it get so, okay, okay, it's theoretical. So basically, okay, it's, let's just. Okay, 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 okay. Escape pod. Three items. One person in the escape pod with you. What will the items be? Who would you bring, and why? My two dogs. One. There's two items. One. One. One person. And two items and three Wait, items. But well, dogs, not a person. dogs, dogs are dog. items. We can count yeah, okay, those. Okay, so we're gonna call dogs the items. You I'm hundred percent bringing my so dogs. So now you're, you're yeah. Well, like, now you, I mean now you're down to you're one. You're not person. gonna have food, Brad. If you bring, I'm not eating. I'm not, not fucking eating. My then. dogs and a Kindle. I refuse to eat then. <laughs> and then I'd probably bring my younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, honestly. <laughs> so you brought no friend. items <laughs> except for your Kindle. Your Kindle's the only item. I can download any book I want. Fuck, that's I'm so tough. I'm pod for the rest of my life. <laughs> Fuck this person See, who asked this question. that's what's wrong with dog people, though. Dog people are like, well, two of my items go to my dogs. So <laughs> that's like, <laughs> just as a cat person, I would have fucking uh, self-preservation. You, you know, know like, <laughs> peace out, cat. <laughs> Fuck my cat. <laughs> Jesus dog Christ. Dog people. <laughs> yeah, it's my dogs, and then it's like a fucking... What person? I, I don't know. Ruby Rose. <laughs> I mean... You're stupid. No. Um... 
That one's complicated. Anyways, let's keep going. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. You have to pick No, no, no. Three. What? What were the three items and the person? My three, three dogs. Three dogs. My three dogs. <laughs> okay, so what the fuck are you eating? Dog what are you saying? And then dog Jacob. People. Jacob. And then I bring in Jacob. I'm thinking about the future. No, I'm thinking about his fucking dogs. All I'm thinking about is the you, dogs. You're saying Jacob? Really? Yeah, with a video I'm camera. Of, I'm, Sylvie and I are hurt right now. Yeah, but wait, he shoots all the content. He what the fuck is good? Yeah, they're all yeah. zombies. So here's the thing about the two of you. You guys brought your dogs to space. You guys didn't even bring them food. You guys said wait, fuck this is dog food. Oh, wait, wait. wait. Food yeah. Dog water. food. We'd all put die. Food and water out of the situation. So I'm going to bring someone I don't like and I'll kill them and feed my dogs. That's the move. How are you going to Or you could just it? bring dog food. Wait, you wouldn't <laughs> no, you have a weapon. I didn't, no, I didn't say we could bring. I could strangle them. Like... <laughs> I could strangle them. Right? Listen, this question look, got look really... Look at her. Look at her. What? Look at her. What did I just yes. do? Jess, you don't like the sarcasm? You don't yes. like the sarcasm? It's too much. I don't get it. Answer, I'm not a logical. sarcastic person, I mean, so I don't get it right away. Okay, I'm yes. not serious. Logical, let's go. <laughs> if I, was, I, if I had to have three things, three items and a person, my three items would be I'm bringing my cell phone, I'm bringing mm, probably... Mm, um, yeah, I would really want something to masturbate. That's my whole head. My satisfier is right Whoa. there. But yeah, probably my satisfier. I don't want to get bored and I can't come with my own fingers. Okay. Um, and then um, my third thing would be a pot to like boil water and cook things. I just want to know who the person is. I think we're all Oh, okay, that. fine. The person would probably be... Someone you, I'm assuming, recreate. Like, you know, I, It would be a woman. I'm not going with a oh, fucking a man. Oh, okay. But what about the population? See, my younger brother is gay and what about wonderful. The like, I, I could spend, what about the I could spend what the fuck a lot of time. See, I love my brother. I love him, but yeah. like, yeah. God. Jacob. Brad said Jacob, and you want to repopulate? We were going to film this bitch. We're going to make a movie. I, would, I don't know. I, I, Who's going to watch it, Brad? I would like to hang out with like, I don't know someone aliens. I haven't met. But like, I, I would, I'm bringing a girl. I don't know which girl. I need some consider. It would take some time to consider. Yeah, a mermaid. A perfect. Mermaid, sure. It all full, full circle. Yeah, it's perfect. A zombie yeah, mermaid. but not my three fucking dogs. That's for sure. Oh fuck! You. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. All right, Jesus. <laughs> I'll bring one of your dogs. Okay. We need company. Yeah, you guys my are right. Dogs. Anyways, um, I think is that it. Last fucking question. Run that bitch up. Let's go. So it says, what can you do when you lose motivation to go to the gym? I recently started an anxiety and antidepressant meds. I'm not as sad as anymore, but I lost motivation to keep going. What can I do? Personally, I think that what you do is you let yourself take a break and you ease up on the pressure. Because mm -hmm. what you're doing is you're just putting added stress into your life, which is going to make it even worse. So you ease up on the pressure and you do things that you want to do and you eat food that you want to do. And then you try to just do little things to stay active throughout the day until you and like build on to it. It's like my natural response to try to be funny was like, don't be a pussy. Fuck what you said. <laughs> but, but like you're so right. Yeah. Like you're literally right. Like yeah. guys, listen, you, I, I definitely do believe in hard work and like going hard. Like even when you feel like you're fucking tired, but if you're constantly running into a wall, like, you kind of have to stop for a second, regroup a little bit, mm -hmm. give yourself a little bit of time, not too much time where it's like three, four months go yeah. by and you're just fucking dragging ass. Mm -hmm. You but have you, to try, put effort in. Yeah, but you do sometimes need to like double back and make a game plan. And the key yeah. when you lose motivation, I've always talked about this, is remembering why you fucking started something. Like, is it important for you? What's the real reason why, whether it's like you want to build muscle, you want to lose body fat, whatever the thing, the goals that you're trying to accomplish in the gym, why is it important to you? Not just because like, you want that thing, right? You got to think like, what is it going to mean for you? Because there's likely there's some lawn, there's lawn, there's some line drawn between you and that goal that is like why it's important, like deeper than just the superficial level of like, I want to like be lean and fuck bitches or whatever the fuck it is. you don't have to go super yeah. hard all at once. Like it could even be just starting off by taking like a little walk a couple times a week. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or sometimes like I fall into like I really want to go to the gym and like I like my brain is telling me go. I really want to go, but I can't bring myself to go. And I'll go days where I just I just don't go because I just couldn't. I was depressed and sad and in one of my episodes and I couldn't bring myself to go. And then finally, after a couple of days off, I do get there and it yeah. feels so good. Like Did you let yourself like take a breather yes. and relax and de-stress and like self-care. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes like just taking some time and also if you get to the point where you just have to go go walk in and go to the treadmill walk on it for 30 minutes and then go home or yeah. 10 minutes and go home yeah, go take some said, of your picks it's, it's building on something mm -hmm. yeah. like don't keep running into that wall like start like double back get a little plan and then build on it slowly and then you start to get more momentum yeah. and then it just becomes the you more know. you use the body your body the more you're going to want to use it so just start getting, absolutely you know take a little break but start getting active 
in little ways. Yeah. Just a fitness influencer right here. True. That's it, baby. Let's go. <laughs> that's it. I think uh, that's the end of the podcast. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you for having um, me. And you have like Twitch, you have Instagram, um, OnlyFans. What other, what other places can they find you? Um, Twitter, Snapchat, and YouTube. Fucking everything. Everything. Do you film YouTube? Like how often do you post YouTube videos? Not that often. I'm going to put a lot of my Twitch streams like on there, but I, I'm like currently, I took a, I, I'm taking things slow cause I was moving. Yeah. Um, but I have a lot of plans for my YouTube. I want to get really consistent with it. Cool. Right on. Mm -hmm. So check her out. I appreciate you again. Thank you so much. Jess, thank you for coming as well. Of course. Thank you so much for coming. Um, it was so nice meeting you. <laughs> fucking subscribe to this fucking channel um, every Tuesday, 11 a.m. It's also on Apple iTunes. If you guys want to go drop a dope review, uh, we appreciate it. That's it. We're out of here. Thank you guys so much. Bye, guys. Cool. That was dope. So much shit I want to say. Let's fucking run this bitch. Yo, okay. We got to get a photo and shit. Let's do it all. Yeah, but end it. No, this is it. This is the ending. No, this is it. We're out of here, guys. Fucking Brad, subscribe to me. Ooh, my legs are sore. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys every Tuesday at 11 a.m. If you have any questions, make sure you DM Ask Raw Talk and send them to us. Thanks for watching.